The views and opinions expressed on the SKO Radio Network are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other hosts or advertisers. The shows found on the SKO Radio Network can promote any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only and are not intended to treat, diagnose, and or claim any cure of disease or condition. From the Rising Star Studio at the SKO Radio Network, it's time for Some Kind of Radio Show with Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. The call-in lines are open at 234-200-5110. That's 234-200-5110. And now, here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. In an uncharted part of the galaxy, somewhere along this journey, we'll find a way back. An epic series from the greatest name in sci-fi history is finally coming to DVD. A mission to the edge of reality and back again across seven seasons and 70,000 light years. Star Trek Voyager. Now, you can join the Voyager crew, the courageous Captain Catherine Janeway, her Starfleet officers, amazing aliens, their holographic doctor, and Seven of Nine, once a terrifying board drone, now struggling to recover her humanity and become part of the Voyager team. You made me into an individual. You encouraged me to cultivate my independence. Collect every one of their incredible adventures on DVD and explore a universe of exclusive extras, including all-star interviews. I was very, very honored, very blessed to play her. Behind-the-scenes documentaries, the science of Star Trek, hidden bonuses, and from the series casting director, a fascinating look at what might have been. Hang on! Do it. with a six DVD season one box set complete with an exclusive extras disc which includes episodes from Star Trek the original series available for the first time on DVD looks pretty live the history of the future continues with Star Trek Voyager on DVD bring them home Seven. Another Friday night here on some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. I reckon my bow is a wreck. We reckon they is. So much easy top. ZZ top. Yeah. I haven't heard you six days. He reckons they is. I reckon. Well, I reckon they do. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm practicing for my new album. You need help. It's the ballad of... Play the long version then I have. It's, it's the ballad of Hugh Jackbow. Yeah, as shown by Hugh Jackbow. All right, everybody. Welcome to some kind of a radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. We're radio. calling it some kind of radio. Radio? I get so annoyed with that. What are you doing? Some kind of radio network. You know, that sports truck idiot guy who decides yeah. to uh, listen on yes on the some kind of radio network. It's the some kind of radio network. Huh. I keep telling people, don't call it that. Yeah, I reckon. You know, it's it's the, it's it's the name of it. It's, yeah. the, it's the Hugh Jack the Uber Radio Network. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can call it the in name. It. You can call it in at three three zero two hundred fifty one ten. You can text me if I can ever figure out uh, uh, what texting is. 
You reckon? I reckon. You reckon? I reckon. What about two, three, four, two hundred? You reckon? That's what I said. It's two hundred. Do you uh, reckon? Do you reckon your balls? Uh, yeah, at least I cleaned my ears out today, Tony. You know, yeah. You didn't clean your ears out. You haven't cleaned your ears out since like nineteen seventy-two. No, I used my beard hair to do it today. Ew. You would. <laughs> Man, if I would have thought about it, Hill Jack Bob could have made. <laughs> if I would have thought about it, Hill Jack Bob could have made an appearance in Canada last weekend. I don't think they could let him across the border, would they? <laughs> no, he's wanted in too many countries. I don't even have a, a real identification. I, I, I don't know what it is. They, my identification is, uh, you know, Luke Junior's uh, drawing of me. Junior's drawing of you. Yeah, he he yeah. drew me, and that's my ID. Looks just like me. That what happened to you? No, hey, I, hey Deb, I got a great novel concept for you. Try right. talking into the microphone. It's a buzz that you want. You got to get it right. Yeah. <laughs> Balls it's anonymous. Someone just came in. Someone just came in. Hello. Hello. Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts. It's the Girl Scouts. Hey. It's the Girl Scouts. I need some- there we go. That sounds a little bit better. He wore his uniform. How about that? How about that? The, the, the Girl Scouts are here. I, I'll take about your thin mints and uh, I'll take. I'll take hey, mints. Thin mints. I reckon. Thin mints. I, went, I went some thin mints and I went. Uh, Deb, I'm trying to talk and get my cookie order in. <laughs> Deb, Deb, I'm sorry, Girl He's trying to get his cookie order in. I'm sorry, Girl Scouts. It is Girl Scouts. He's trying to get his cookie order in. Trying to get his, to get his, to get his, to get to get his cookie order in. I'm going to over this. I hear you. I know the feeling. What? No, they're no, we're uh-huh. we're not we're we're fine. I'm I'm just trying. No, don't be touching the damn dials. Uh, I, rec- I reckon she's touching the damn dials. The only person to touch dials is me. And period. Me. And me, cause I I know what I'm doing. Uh, you even, can't do that. I even override you. No, I, I know what I'm doing. I, I'm a uh, trained professional. Anyway, just seeing something. Anyway, uh, I'm just trying to see if this is uh okay. Wait a minute, that's a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Trying to get the here's the thing we had to switch computers this week and then of course we had to redial everything. It just to me it just doesn't sound quite right right now in my ear. I mean I know it sounds good on the air, but it, to me in, in the headphones right now it just doesn't sound right. Coming up tonight, uh, uh, Star Trek. Uh, Bill Hill Jack get to put in his cookie order. Yeah. I'm just trying to see. Oh, I know what it is. What? Yeah. What are you doing? It's, there we go. It's just because we got everybody on the one side of the room. The acoustics are different tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. The acoustics are a little bit different hey, tonight. What's, the, what's wrong? The acoustics are a little different your, in here. Your dicks what? Yeah. I reckon that my bows is I am a great singer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, everybody, welcome to the show. We are here live until midnight tonight. And yes, I don't uh, get to put my cookie order in. No, you got all night to put your damn cookie order in. I want to do it now. That way I'm sure Calm. I have it by Christmas. Calm down. Your cookie order will be going in shortly, okay? Yeah, shortly. Okay. Shortly. Uh, shortbridge. I went shortbridge, too. Shortly. Yeah, that's better. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Can hey, how's that? Harry. Too, <laughs> hey, it was too much. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hey, I can hear. Echo, echo, echo. Oh, hello, 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 test one, two, hello. Yeah, yeah, I reckon. I've been dialing this stuff back in for the, since Monday now, but I think we're close. But, uh, oh, the fun of changing computers and yeah. the system going, doing what it does. But that's why we have two studios now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> The fun of it all, the fun of it all. Welcome to the program, everybody. We are uh, we're here live tonight until midnight. Midnight tonight. We are saluting Star Trek Voyager. The final week of Star Trek salutes here on the some kind of radio show. Uh, what are we saluting next week? Don't know yet. Uh, it's Halloween month. So Halloween we're gonna, month. We're so going to salute uh, scary movies. Scary, all scary movies. I haven't picked the movies yet. But right, I, 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 I got it. I got it. Yeah, well, you got it. Huh. The documentary of Hugh Jackman. I wouldn't. It's an auto. It's an autobiographical pick. I'd salute that in the toilet. Well, that would have to be scary. Well, yeah, I, I, I salute is. that in the bathroom. But yeah, I, well, you get to see my baby pictures. Hey, I, <coughs> well, we got we got a couple I could contribute. How about either of my wedding videos? Those were pretty scary to themselves. <laughs> hey, your porn was yeah, not that good your either. Your porn was not that good either, Tony. No. Well, yeah, that, that'd be a third scary one. Yeah, we get, next month's. Um, hey, Deb. How we? Here's an idea. You've been doing this for how long? Next month is also full of birthdays. We have three on staff next month. 
Oh, yeah? Who's? Hey, who Jake Boob? Um, uh, who Jake Boob? Who Jack Jr.? Talk. She just likes to talk in the <laughs> studio. Yeah. Hill Jack Bo, Hill Jack Jr., and uh, Uncle Butter Joe. And we all share the same birthday. Uh, uh, you guys all share the same birthday. October huh? 34th. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Laura's like, what the hell? That's like February 30th. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. That's my anniversary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, tonight we are, we have a full studio tonight. Uh, the Debster there is seven uh, and the Debster, chicken she, in her mouth. She she poisoned the water. No, she poisoned the water. Yeah. Uh, Dylan's here. Hilljack Bob's here. Hey, yeah, Rickin. Tony's here. Yep. And we got Pat and Dill from. Radio Go ahead. It. Go ahead. From from from. He can't even remember. Radioactive. Radio radioactive. Radioactive. Hey, radioactive. Yeah, yeah, radioactive. Radioactive. What's the something wonderful? What? Uh, we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, I reckon my bosage. I reckon my bosage. I reckon they do. I'm going to stay all night. Oh, no, no. you're not. Oh, God, uh, I'll no. be here all night. No, because there's a smell in here, dude. People have food and they'd like to eat. Hey, that's okay. I, I'm eating, too. I know, and that's what the thing is. I want to like to eat, too, but it smells so damn bad well, your from plate, your ass. Your, your plate's already empty. It looks like I ate it. Did I eat your food or did you? I ate my own food. See, so you. there's no issue. There's no issue. No one else is eating. There's no issue at it's all. It's just me. It's just me. <laughs> Are you copying me? Yes, I am. <laughs> Are you trying to get me to leave? Because that just makes me want to stay more. By the way, hello, Dale. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my God. You reckon? <laughs> Well, we have Pat and Dale here from Radioactive. Uh, they're going to be on the air tomorrow from 11 to 1. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> It's when all hell breaks loose, usually. It's my favorite show. Well, hopefully not, but... Uh, it is my favorite yeah, let's, show. Let's, hope, let's so. hope there's no power failures next week. <laughs> yeah. The only power failure there's going to be is uh, power struggle. Power struggle? Yeah. Yeah. What you call it? I reckon. You reckon? Indeed. If you want to watch power struggles, just turn on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, turn out the Hugh Jack Boat. With all that yeah. shit going on TV right now? Oh, God. Live on, live on the TV in your bathroom, the Hugh Jack Bob show. Live on the TV in the bathroom. Yeah, it's right over oh, the t- it's right oh, over the sink. Look at that! Oh my live god! Live from the bathroom. Yeah, but live on the TV. Live from the bathroom. On the TV over the bathroom, I over the mirror handed, in the bathroom. Yeah. I just got handed it's a mirror. Oh. That's a secret uh, recipe. A jar of moonshine. That's a Hugh Jack Bob recipe. Oh my god! I'm in heaven. It's a Hill oh, Jack Bow recipe. Jar back, John. Yeah, she wants you. Don't get no more. Uh, uh-huh. that's, that's an old secret uh, Hill Jack family recipe. Hill Jack family recipe. Yeah, I reckon. You see all the brown, sh- you see all the brown stuff in it? Yeah, I see it. It's not it's Jack a, Off. Hill Jack family recipe. Yeah, it's a Hill Jack family recipe. You Hill see Jack all the brown stuff recipe. in it, right? Okay. Yeah, I see that's that. a secret ingredient. That's what you call it? I reckon. Hill Jack family recipe? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. I, okay. I may I may go for a little while and have some dinner. I'll be back for a top ten. Yeah, hey, you should do that. All right. I just want to let everyone know hello and that I'm here. And okay. Uh, maybe I'll come back and order my Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yeah. Come back. <laughs> Who are the Girl Scouts? I was wondering. Uh, uh, they just came in. I just showed them. So I, I'm going to go find them, actually. All right. I'll be back. <laughs> this is going to be a hell of a show. This is going to be what it is tonight. <laughs> If you'd like to call in and join us, give us a call, 234-251-10. Again, 234-251-10. That'll put you through here live tonight on some kind of radio show. And if you're too scared to talk to us, because, you know, I'm an intimidating presence. You are an intimidating presence. Yes. You're something. I wonder everybody hates you. (laughs) Your words, not mine. Your words, not mine. Yeah, you, you. If you are intimidated by talking on the radio, we have a solution. You can text us. You can text us as well. 234-200-5110. And I did, actually, and I want to tell you about this off-air, but I guess I'll tell you on-air. Oh, go right ahead. Please. There is a local radio station, Terrestrial, mm-hmm. who they we're were ahead of. of. We're ahead of? We're ahead of. We're ahead of them. A local terrestrial radio station based out of Akron, Ohio, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. off uh, West Market Street, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. finally implemented mm-hmm. a text in line. Wow! Wow! wow. And we're, we actually beat them to the punch. We beat a corporate terrestrial radio station 
to the punch. Wow, we're way ahead of the game here. We're way ahead of the game. We actually, we're playing a different game now. We're, yeah, we're in a different ball game. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? We've also beaten the other internet radio stations on other things. Remotes. Remote, remote broadcasting. Yes, I have a remote. Yes. It controls lots of things. <laughs> yes. Remote broadcast. That's a big thing. Controls now. TVs. <laughs> Remotes are fun, though. We, we, we've been doing the, uh, the, the uh, sports show. Uh, what why, are you, why are you Jesus. pouring it like that? You're going to spill the long pour. She, well, she's going to spill, and then she's going to complain that everything's sticky tomorrow. Yeah, and then she's going to bitch because yeah, she's got to clean the... Hey, Deb, here's a great idea. Try talking into the microphone. You should take the microphone and talk into it, but not while I'm talking into it. Break my microphone. I break, break the you. microphone. I break your streak. Knee. Streak. Streak. 21 and 0. Now 21 and 1. 21 and 1. <laughs> but no, we, um, yeah, we've been doing this uh, remote show now from the Windsor Pub for two weeks now. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the second week went smashingly better. Than smashingly first. better than the first, yes. I got more admit, drinks the audio, consumed. The audio from that show, that, uh, this last week's show was really good. 100% well, better. Well, the first voice. week was, was a phone call to this. It was broadcast from there to here, then here out. <laughs> that was not a joke. I don't know who thought that was funny. I did. But the, I it was, was not funny, I and I would laughing. appreciate silence. Shh. Dylan's talking, everybody, so everyone be quiet because Dylan's talking. <laughs> it's McCune Day. McCune Day. But, McCune but Day. no, it, and that's exactly what it was, though, was we, we pretty much were having a phone call go out over a line that did not sound good. No. That's just the truth. It yeah. sounded worse than AM radio. It sounded worse than, yeah, the first week. The second week, we originated from there. And that's why we had, you yeah. know, better better quality, better clarity. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah, a lot better because we just did direct stream. So right. It, it worked out it, a lot better. It, we just did a direct stream. It sounded almost as good as if it was here. Almost. I mean, you still had the, the background noise. The background noise of the bar, but yeah, you're going to get that, and that's good. Yeah, because, you know, you're in the bar. You're right. yeah. watching, and they're having a good time. and they're, The bar is not full of urine. It's full of people and beer. As yeah. far as the background noise, you get, mm. you're going to get some of it just because of the acoustics of the room. And mm. that. Right, which yeah. is but great. you guys had that trimmed back enough that it was, mm -hmm. you oh, know, I, I, when, I you, trimmed, when I you have background noise like that, it tends to take Can, the focus away from mm -hmm. the, the main people. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard the first week. Mm -hmm. Yet this this last week, everything the focus was there because the background was gone. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And that was very good. Can I, yeah. can I, I will commend you guys on that. Can I ask a real question? Sure. Does Rick stock Bud Light at the Windsor? He does. I've never seen anyone drink a Bud Light at the Windsor. It's not a hot, it's not a popular I've beer never though. seen anyone drink a Bud Light at it's the Windsor. It's not very popular there. It's, well, on draft yeah, yeah. it is, but you don't see a lot of it on in in bottle. Bottle. No. Except for on Saturdays. Uh, except for on Saturdays, which I'm never there on a Saturday. I'm so. never there on a Saturday either because I'm usually at work. Right. Well, I work nights. So yeah, I, I'm working during the day, and I don't usually go there Saturday you, night. You bowl during the night. Yeah. Every other Sunday, Saturday. Yeah. Right. Right. So Sunday we'll be back at the Windsor uh, with Sports Brewing Company, nine thirty to eleven or whenever the hell they decide they're done. Mm -hmm. yeah. They went on for an extra half hour and I loved it. Oh, they had a I ball. love it. They yeah. and they've got they've got plenty to talk about and they're knowledgeable guys, you know, mm -hmm. they do their homework. So you can call them, text them, they'll answer your questions on air, they'll talk to you on air. Uh, 9.30 to 11, yep. midnight. And if, and if you're local, come down and watch. Yeah, yeah. You, you can come down and watch. You know, We just ask that you don't like, try and, try and touch with us. The program. Yeah, don't try and touch anybody. Don't touch us. Take pictures. Take pictures. Pretend it's the zoo. Get, yeah, get naked. We, sh we should put up glass walls and pretend it's the zoo. One week. <laughs> well, we should just do that here. We're fine. <coughs> ah, and as well... We just recorded the promo for it. It'll be out shortly, uh, October 5th, 6th, and 7th. You can join us, the station, mm -hmm. some kind of radio network. Oh, stop calling it that. Please. That's <laughs> who we are. Yeah, but we don't call it that. SKO Radio Network. Right, thank you. You can join I us. I get annoyed by that, by actually, personally. Some kind of radio network. You're welcome. I'm going <laughs> to keep saying it now. But you can join us October 5th, 6th, and 7th at the Norton Cider Fest. I'll be down there probably. You're, tr Friday. you're trying to annoy the piss yeah, out of me right yeah, now. Aren't maybe you? Sunday. Hey, is it is it going well? 
Yes, quite well. Thank right, you. Drink your damn beer. I will. I'll just shut up. Drink your beer. <laughs> drink your beer. I'll just, I'll just beat my mic. Just remember, <laughs> some kind of radio show host will not be there until Saturday. That's right. Yeah. We'll uh, I might be out there Friday before the show. Yeah. Uh, depend- what time? Starts at six. Starts at five. I work until 5. Thank you for telling me when I work. I know when I work. He knows when he works. I am a smart cookie. He shows up. He I does show up. I, I show up. He shows up for his job. And then he does things. And then he leaves. And then he leaves. <laughs> then he comes back the next day. Some stuff happened. Then he gets paid. <laughs> yeah. He's the world's greatest detective. Some stuff happened. He played with his balls. <laughs> Then he got fired. <laughs> he that did. already happened once this year. I don't want to talk about it. Because he played with him in front of a little kid. That's his problem. <laughs> it's a bowling alley. I thought you were supposed to touch the balls. <laughs> not, the, not, not your own. I bring mine from home. Okay. That would you do. You carry them in a bag. You know, there's little holes in them. Mm-hmm. Sure. Throw them down a lane. You know. Is that what you, is that what you call it? Yeah, you, know, you go stand on some wood. Deb just pretended to throw up in her mouth a little go. bit. That's a little bit better. Deb just pretended to throw up in her mouth a little bit. That sound better, guys? That yes, sound that better? definitely was. Yeah, that sound better. Okay, trying to cut down that background noise we're getting. Uh, the, the, all the trying to cut the gains down on the re- in the back end of things. Ever since we switched computers, it's like everything changed. So I had to redial everything. I mean, Let's open the window and get the sounds of nature. Yeah, the sounds of yeah. nature. Yeah, I've been trying to just get everything dialed into even here now, so which that- is good. When the sounds of nature in Akron, Ohio, gunshots and ladies screaming. Yeah, that yeah. actually sounds pretty good. In my ears, it sounds pretty good right now. Yeah, it sounds fine to me. Yeah. What about how's the, so- how's the sound to you, Pat? What about sounds in good your to eyes? Me. Sounds good to me. How's what sound- about in your eyes? In your eyes. There you go. You want me to sing? Yeah. No. no. I wanted you to sing on a Wednesday. You no. wouldn't do it. Nope. No. Not enough booze. I'm going to get you drunk enough. You- you'll never get me drunk enough to sing in front of people. I did it. You were drunk, though. I was not drunk. You were inebriated. I drove home. I was not drunk. You were inebriated. I was... I was had a beer. You was had a beer. You had a shot, too, did you not? Maybe. I had one. <clears throat> yeah, you had a shot. And then I did singing. Then he did singing. You what think you, I'm a lightweight? He did you, singing. What did you sing? I sang. Uh, I sang Pearl Jam. Yes, you did. Pearl Jam. Yes, and I did really good. And you, and you had the older hot ladies trying to pick on you. Know, we made a. Up. We made a you business did a connection. Better job out of Tennessee. But, better, you, but she was like hugging you and stuff. She hugged Rick too. She was like climbing all over Rick though. Oh, I know. She was ready to hump Rick's leg. I think. Yeah. That's okay though. I would have watched that. Well, uh, Rick's not a bad looking guy. No. Mm-hmm. You can tell him I said that. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna text him and. During the break, and I'm going to say, hey, uh, Dylan thinks you're a good-looking guy. <laughs> he thinks Do it. I will. Do you know, it. You know why? Because I can't. I know. <laughs> this first half hour has been about nothing, you know. Yeah. It's been you and me bannering back and forth. Isn't it great? <laughs> Isn't it great? Sure. You know what the next half hour is going to bring? Me picking front, make picking on Deb. Everything except for Hill Jack's cookie order. Oh God, everything <laughs> but cook, Hill Jack's cookie order. Are you guys doing a beer review tonight? Oh, there's, it's required. Sure. Well, and then we, and then after nine o'clock, we have to you. do. You're going to do a booze review. I am going to do a booze review. Booze I review. Over us. We're going to do a booze review. Booze review. I heard that. A booze review. Booze review. Not, not homemade. Not homemade. Booze review. Boobs? A boob review? Booze review. A boob review. Sure. Here, you oh. want a drink? I only drink out of... It's a boob review. I only I drink out of skulls. He only drink, Dylan only drinks out of skulls. Thought, can I take it? Yeah. I thought so. Very cold water. Pure yeah. Everclear. Clear. It's like crystal clear. I only drink out of the skulls of my enemies. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Well, or at least molds of them. <laughs> molds of them. Yeah. That is a cool looking bottle, though. It will definitely be, you know, it's not my preferred brand, mm-hmm. but I at least wanted to sample it. Yeah, it's, one, it's one of those you had to try it once. And it, it's going to be a great bar piece. Yeah. Have you ever, ever had this before, or is this the first time? First time. First time. Okay. 
First time. Let us know how it is. Oh, everybody will know how it is <laughs> after, ni- after 9 o'clock once we come back from the break. Oh, boy. Can't wait. It's going to be fun. Dylan's going to be like, ooh, this can be amazing. look at Tony. He's drinking. Ooh, Tony's drinking. Ooh, Tony's I drinking. should do that. You should do that. <laughs> I should do that. Yeah, All right. I don't know right now. Feel better? <laughs> Deb's trying to get everybody drunk on the air. Hey, <laughs> hey guys. Let's, get, let's, <laughs> let's all get drunk on the air, huh? Deb, talking to the God. The cool, ref- the cool, refreshing taste of beer? Of beer. Okay. You sure about that? Well, it's cool and I it's mean, refreshing. You guys drink crap beer compared to what I'm used to well, drinking. Well, this, this is sessional. This is sessional. Yeah. Is what what sessional. do you drink? Sam Adams is sessional for me. Well, this is sessional. This is sessional. <laughs> Sam Adams is technically considered craft. Technically craft. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a highly produced craft. Yeah. Yes. But it's still technically a craft. Beer. Good old Boston Lager. Yeah. I like that stuff too. There's nothing wrong oh, with yeah. it. Oh yeah. Although this last weekend though I was drinking what was what was we having? We were having a... Uh, oh, I was drinking Guinness, the last bar we were at. Ugh. Mm, Only problem is, is up, it's up north. They serve Guinness cold. They won't. They don't serve it at room temperature. Hey, you know we got a call from the insurance department. Who, who who's that? It's a telemarketer. Telemarketer. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Unlist my number. Yeah. Unlist my number. I Unlist my number. I hope they call back while we're on the air because I'll mess with them. Yeah. Unlist my number. Except I if you, give it out on air. If you don't recognize them, just answer the phone. Hello. And they'll start getting into a spiel, and I'll be like, "Lady, do you know you're live on a radio station going across the globe?" Huh? Huh? I'm what? Yeah, you're on the air, huh? No, we're not on the <laughs> air. Technically, we don't go out over air. We go out over... Internet. 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 The Internet. The Internet. The Internet. You know what's good? Let's, Time for a Yeah, let's take a break, shall we? Let's take a break. What the hell? TV break? All right. Some kind of radio show on SK. We'll be back. You know that more than 2 million children die each year due to dehydration, which really sucks, you know. Someone should do something about that. But hey, check out this mop I've got here. It's called the Smart Mop. All you gotta do is dunk it and grip it real tight, you know. Give it a nice double-handed Indian burn right there on the pee-pee, and you're ready to clean. Now, what's great about the Smart Mop is you actually get smarter while you use it. And it's so much fun, I think I'll get on my heels. Woo! Woo-hoo. Okay, now that that's all cleaned up, the mop is nice and heavy, so you can put it over your head just like this and get a nice upper body workout. And after your workout, you need a protein shake. Look how much money you're saving. You're so goddamn smart. Dandruff. Blood. Boogers. It does it all. What, are you going to use that fucking Swiffer Sweeper bullshit? What, are you stupid? No, you're smart. I'm actually too smart for this, so I have the twist handle shoved up my ass right now as I'm mopping this up for you. Not only because it's more of a challenge, but I also don't need to buy toilet paper. (laughs) There you go. Toss it in with your rainbow blankets. I bet you're on your knees covered in shit right now. And that brawny's gonna make you look stupid. You wanna be smart. No more dreadlocks, no more sponges. And you know what? Fuck brooms. Whoops, I popped a hemorrhoid in the kitchen and I sneezed on the door. Oh shit, there's the hair from my left testicle. Oh no, biker bitches broke in and spilled Pepto-Bismol. And it looks like someone else broke in as well. Djibouti Dubs. Hi, this is Stephanie Raquel Kokora, and I run under lock and key from 5 to 6 on Mondays. Come and see me. Um, It's everything they don't want you to know all in one place. Um, I'm a truth seeker, have been for many, many years, and uh, I do the research. All you got to do is listen and make your own cantations out of that. And this is skoradio.com. 
Hi, this is Bob Fritz, host of the Oldies But Goodies Show here on SKO Radio. Join me every Sunday morning from 11 to 2 Eastern Standard Time for the best of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You can get your requests in by going to Facebook page yesterday and today's classic music chat, Tribute and Games. Hi, this is Dylan Thompson, and you're listening to our new SKO Radio Network. Stay tuned. Initiate emergency medical holographic program. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Multiple percussive injuries. Status of your doctor. He's dead. 0.4 cc's of trianoline. Trianoline? We lost our nurse, too. How soon are replacement medical personnel expected? That could be a problem. We're pretty far away from replacements right now. Tricorder. Medical tricorder. A replacement must be requested as soon as possible. I am programmed only as a short-term emergency supplement to the medical team. Well, we may be stuck with you for a while, Doc. There's no need for concern. I am capable of treating any injury or disease. No concussion, you'll be fine. Lean him up. Unlock the magnetic constrictors. Constrictors online. Pressure. It's working. 2,500 kilopascals and holding. Bridge to Janeway. We're being scanned by the array, Captain. It's penetrated our shields. What kind of scan? Bridge. Janeway to bridge. Respond. Initiate emergency lock-off. You're not seriously hurt. You can return to your station. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. I gave no permission for anyone to be transported out of sickbay. Hello? Sickbay to bridge? I believe someone has failed to terminate my program. Please respond. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. All righty. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. 8.36 8.36 here on uh, some kind of radio show here on the uh, SKO Radio Network. Saluting Star Trek Voyager. Star Trek Voyager, that's the right. Some featuring? kind of radio network? The SKO Radio Network. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some kind of radio network. Oh, God. Some kind yeah. of Voyager. Some kind of voyage here tonight. Sorry, Jerry Ryan is 7 of 9. I'd give 7 of 9, 7 of mine. <laughs> <laughs> if he had 7 to give. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on that note. <laughs> Drink more beer. On that note. Drink more beer. I'm just testing something. Drink more beer. Drink more beer. How's that? Drink uh, more beer. That's a little Drink bit better. Drink more beer. I'm trying to cut down that background I'm getting all of a sudden. I'm getting like a background noise. That's just me. It might be just my headphones. I don't know. Baby Drink shark. more do, 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 beer. Do. Drink more yeah. beer. <laughs> Drink more beer. Drink more beer. Well, today is National Beer Drinking Day. Yes, it is. Tomorrow's National, National Coffee Day. National Coffee Day. National Deer, Be- Deer, Deer Drinking Day, too. Uh, hey, a couple, drink, week, couple weeks ago, I had, a, I had a coffee-flavored beer. Coffee-flavored beer, huh? Yeah. Really? Now, they make beer-flavored coffee. True. It's, now, they make coffee-flavored beer. Yeah, it's, they've, they've it's called an imperial it. stout. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, it's just the truth. <laughs> It's, it's better than being a dumbass. It's true. Better be pissed off than pissed on. That's yeah. what I always say. But hey, yeah. can't I, hear myself. I yeah. was just testing something here, buddy. Well, <clears throat> stop it. I'm testing things. Well, stop it. I can't hear myself. Can you hear yourself now? I yeah. Hear, I hear the voices. It's, like, hear the it's voices like my exam. 
I know which one. Not, I know which one not to hit. Can you see it like this? The, like the one this. that made me go, "Hey, I can't hear myself." I know which one not to hit. The That's one that, the one that kills us. I know it. I know which is the kill button. This right here, this red button, is the kill button. You should push it. You know what'll happen? It'll go on the air. But yay! You know, but, you know, I just, I just showed. Yeah, I know what the kill button is. That's the kill button. That kills the whole stream. Kill the. Let them know. Let lets everybody know who's boss. Yeah, I know what I know what I'm doing. Who's the boss? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy, bitch? His name's Ken. <laughs> your name's bitch now. Oh, I, I, I was answering my question, not yours. You're rude. I'm not rude. You hurt my feelings. Oh, right. right. Did you sign in today? No, but I'm going to. What my gosh. What the hell? Jeez. Thank you, everybody. Oh my god! Come on, Deb. Did you sign in? You were the first one in this room. You didn't sign in. My show. Oh, now it's not your show. You no, know, the rule is the first person from the show is the one that oh, signs wow. in. That's what you said the last time. Well, I don't know. I got here. It's, what, what time we get here? Six o'clock. Uh, no. Uh, We've been here since five fifteen. Oh, five fifteen. killing me. Five fifteen, huh? Five fifteen. Was there anything wrong? Uh, nothing to report, Dylan. Nothing to report. Yeah, I've done that. Nothing to report except for that gaping hole in the wall. <coughs> we'll just put a poster over it. It's all right. <laughs> nothing to report other than uh, <laughs> yeah. Dylan farted. Well, uh, the radio station's missing. Uh, I'm just not going to report it. <laughs> the whole building's gone. I don't know what the hell happened. It moved. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you, you, you just stopped about 100 feet short. It's a good look for her. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, oh, Dylan Del Del knows who that is. She used to work at... I know who that is. Yeah, yeah I know her. Yeah, that's a good look for her, I guess. That's a good look for her. It's a good uh, look. Ready, set, catch. Good. Oh, you caught it with your dick. I did. I batted it away, too. Oh, whew. Good job. Anyway, welcome to the program again. If you're if you're just joining us, give us a call. The phone lines are open two three four two hundred fifty one ten. We'd love to hear from you tonight. And uh, tonight's uh, movie salute or TV show salute, uh, the final week of Star Trek, and we're doing uh, Star Trek Voyager this week. Did, now, I enjoyed Star Trek Voyager personally. I like Spaceballs. <laughs> May the shorts be with you. What the fuck? Okay, but seriously, we're talking about Voyager. Yeah, you know. Well, you I, I've only seen a couple episodes of Voyager, so lost my I'm train sorry. of thought. Thanks. I'm bro. sorry. You're talking about Voyager. Yo, great. I'm not trying. My hey, okay. we are in the middle of a show, and you're showing pictures of toilet paper. You're though. showing pictures of toilet paper <laughs> with sunglasses. Yeah. Who gets that is it? not the appropriate response. For the middle of a show, you could talk to him on the break, or you could talk to him on air. Yeah, if you put the microphone in front of your mouth. Wow. She goes. Wow. Here, here, here's Deb wow. on air. I can't. You know why? The microphone's not named Earl. That made zero. You sense. almost spilled my beer, and you told a terrible joke. That wasn't even a good joke. That was joke. not good. You're grounded. You're grounded. <laughs> you're grounded. You are off air for the next ten minutes. Yeah, you're, until you, you know, you should go outside until and, you get new jokes. You should go outside and grounded. smack yourself. She's gonna, she's gonna Not start me. googling jokes and she's gonna pronounce it wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the difference between uh, uh, Mister Gorbachev? <laughs> Gorbachev. Gorbachev. <laughs> and the Eiffel Tour. Oh, well, she figured one oh, out. Hey, congratulations, wow. Deb. If if we'll tour, you want a you want a cookie? No, she would call it the if o tour. <laughs> she still didn't catch that. Pronounced uh, Gorbachev wrong. She did not catch that. Gorbachev. 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 I can Gor see it now. Gorbachev. Is that kind of like going to Pompano Beach? Um, why why yeah. did uh why did Mister uh, Gorbachev go to uh, Pompano, Pompano Beach? Beach. To play put put. <laughs> That'd be a dub joke. Yuck, right. yuck, yuck, yuck. That would most certainly be a dub joke. And the only reason that it got a laugh? Because we made it up. Is because we made it up. Because yeah. we're funny. Looking. Dub. Looking. Not so much. Looking. 
That's what I'm going to say. Look Tony. What? Is a comedy killer. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know leave about. The bad jokes I don't know today. about Dylan. Pat leave the bad. Leave about. bad jokes to to Dylan. Uh, to to Dylan. Dylan. Yeah, Dylan too. Yeah. Dylan's got bad jokes. I tell too. good jokes. You, you self-proclaimed good jokes. You were laughing the other day. At you, not with you. I think it was a joke about my sex life. <laughs> That's the full point. It is a joke, isn't it? Right? Right. <laughs> Thanks. Just trying to help you out there, but I'm just. You should turn that down. That's very rude to do. I'm, I'm testing something. That's very rude. I'm making sure we're not echoing. That's, that's very rude in the middle of a movie theater. We're not in a movie theater. Echo, 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 echo. I'm just testing something. Here. Echo, echo, echo. You're a very rude man. Rude, rude. Man, man. Hey, hey, welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online where you're listening to us currently. Or the TuneIn app where you're also probably listening to us currently. You can download it. You can download it off of wherever you downloaded it. Just testing. It's called a test. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network. Because I can't get off in case you didn't know. Two things at once because Deb won't move. Yeah, see? See, I, I hear it. Yeah, I, I, I just want to make sure we sounded good. I'd rather sound good. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Well, Pat's here, so he can't tell us that it yeah. sounds bad. Right. Pat, oh, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, Pat, we sound fine. <laughs> okay. Stop hey, me. hey, hey, Pat, I'm not talking bad, about buddy. material. <laughs> Pat, we're fu- we sound fine right now. Yeah, you sound fine. <laughs> Thanks. At least on this set of headphones. At least, at least, yeah. Yeah, at least yeah. No, we well, sound what you hear over the headphones isn't necessarily what goes out. Yeah, what so. you hear in the headphones don't necessarily is what it sounds better over the stream than it does in my headphones right now. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I got to just yeah, we, it's because we need a new line there. We need a new line right here. Because let me hear your headphones. I just want to know if it's my headphones or the line. I don't hear anything. No, let me bo- let me borrow your headphones for a minute. They aren't mine, so I just want you can. Oh, really? Shit. Drop it. Drop I thought you had them. There went my sandwich. <laughs> You're going to spill my beer? No, he was going to. going to spill my beer. I only hear out of one ear in this one. Deb's gonna, that's your fault. I heard, the, out, I heard out of both. I only hear out of one ear. Yeah, maybe you're just deaf. Pl- plug it in both. Yeah. <laughs> test, test, test. Is that test, the... test, test. Hello? No, I only hear out of one ear in this You side. are a deaf person. Let me see something. Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah, yeah, they sound fine. Hello. I told you. Uh, I don't know. I'm just conscious because I hear every little noise right now. It's this cord. How yeah. are you only hearing out of one ear? I heard. Cl- I hear clearly out of this one and this one. Well, I only heard out of one and that. You're deaf. Maybe I'm deaf because I had to turn this. Oh my god. Let me turn it back down to where you, you had. What? It. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where? It sounds louder. Hey, what'd you do? I turned it down. That sounds louder. <laughs> it sounds louder. I can't help it. I'm partially like, you know, I'm, I, got, I can't hey. see for shit now. I can't hear for shit. Work around heavy machinery Hell, for you ain't years. even old. I know. <laughs> work around, that's what, what happens when you work around heavy machinery. You know, I won't hear a damn thing. You get me? What? Finally. Fuck around saying what? I'll, I'll, I'll be like that, uh, like those guys. Uh, I'll be like, huh? No, you know, I can detect little minute things, and, you know, that I can hear. You know? Yeah. Uh, Newts. <coughs> that too. I don't know. What? Uh, vampire study points to possible diagnosis test for bowel problems? Okay. What the fuck does that got to do with anything? What's that got to do with the price of change? Right? What's that got to do with Star Trek? They're gonna have it, maybe that's a new. Like something out of the Deb, talking to a microphone. She don't do that here. She don't. No. She don't believe in talking to microphones here. We need to get her one on like Bluetooth or something. Yeah, we you know, we hook up like a Bluetooth microphone or get you a headset microphone deal. That, that's what you need. Yeah. That's that what way. She. Oh my gosh! You are banned. You're, you're cut off. What have you been drinking tonight? No. You and your yeah. You know you notice that crown bottle is empty. Right. No, I was gonna say that big ass crown bottle is empty. Yeah, yeah. Well, just imagine if I would have got the three liters. Oh, totally shit. not yeah. my fault. I, I was gonna if had they had it, uh-huh. and it comes with this little plastic thing. You set it in so you can pour it. Ah, uh-huh. nice. You should have seen the four and a half liter bottle of Jameson they had up there. Ooh. It had a little uh, a little wire rack that you put the bottle in that way you can tip it and pour it. Oh my! Well, it's funny because uh, two gallons of whiskey. 
Yeah, four. Yeah, as I say, four liters, two gallons of whiskey. It was about a hundred bucks US. Two and gallons a, of whiskey. Because I bought a three liter bottle of Crown for a guy I owned the bar I used to frequent when I lived out in Newton Falls back in mm-hmm. two thousand. And uh, it's, it's, he still hasn't cracked open the bottle. Never hmm. opened it. He's like, it's a showpiece. Hmm. Because you can't buy it, buy them that big down here. You can only get a liter. You can't <laughs> buy them that big. They just come naturally. <laughs> oh my! And this is what well, I mean. The, the only stuff you can get really in a in an over a liter bottle that's down here is like the cheap stuff, like Jack or or what's that? Or or Lasky vodka or something. The stuff you buy at like Circle K. <laughs> Kraka vodka or something. It's like 42 Kamchaka. Proof. Kamchaka. Okay. Kamchaka. Balls want to just explode. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> What's that, Dub? I'm trying to, like, hey, Dub. Hey, I'm just telling you this. Let's see. I know, just so you know. You, you keep using language like that, <laughs> and you're going to find yourself out of a job. Because you don't talk at all. But, no, I was just going to say, the, the old my don't work. Uh, oh. Yeah. The hot, none of the hotkeys worked for me Wednesday night. Yeah, well, let's see. Uh, let's see. Dylan's balls explode. I feel like my balls want to just explode. They work. That works fine. <laughs> let's see. Um, That's a huge. <laughs> that works okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just the oh my don't work. The oh my file don't work, Deb. Yeah. What is the oh my oh file? Oh my. Like? You have to fix the oh my file. Oh my. Because we need it. Because we need it. For saying oh my. <laughs> Because we want it all. Because I can't say oh my by myself. I need Adam yeah. to say oh my. Because we want him to. That's it. Fighter. That's Fighter. It. Fighter. Right Fighter. now. Oh. Right now. All bets are off. Forget everything I ever said. Fighter. To the death. <laughs> to the death. Ready, so, set, go. Not so celebrity death match. <laughs> And Daniel oh, somebody, got eaten by a somebody, shark. Somebody just called and I missed the call. Great. Yes. You need to pay attention. Well, I didn't see it. Well, at least it didn't ring over the air like it did a couple yeah. days ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, I fixed that as soon as I got here. That was an easy fix. Whoever it was, call back. Call back. Whoever was, call back. I don't even know if it was a real number because it seemed kind of weird. Call back. 973. Yeah. Call back. Hmm. hmm. Call back. Let's see. Okay, because I, I got to help. Call this. back. I gotta have the call screen on. There we go. Call screen's gonna be on. There we go. I can actually. Whoever it is, call back. We'd love to hear from you. Call yeah. back. Call back, people. Whoever it was, call back. That number two three four two hundred fifty one. New Jersey. I know that number. New Jersey. That's Jersey. Oh. Okay. Call back. Call back. Call back. Call back. It's like it's like CPG. No no no. What was it? We need to get the. We need to get the. Um, was it from Titanic? Rose. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, we could fit two in that boat. We could fit two on that door. See, they could you know what they could have done and they could have really got some body heat going, they could have just started going at it. Yeah. You know, I mean that that's what I would have done. I'm like, hey, you're so get in and break it off. Probably literally would have broke off in that cold. <laughs> yeah. They did enough through the movie as it was. I know, I was gonna say. Yeah, all you see is a hand on this steamy window. Yeah, in there. Call, yeah, call call back. You know, I'm getting I'm I'm getting hell for. Uh, Holla back, Kathy. You need to try to call and call back because I didn't see the thing ring. That's on me because I wasn't looking at the call screen. Because it doesn't ring. It doesn't ring in here. It, you see, if it ring, if it, if it doesn't ring, I have to actually look at a visual cue to answer the phone. Call us back. But I wasn't looking at the visu- visual cue. She sent you a text. She sent a text. Uh-huh. It didn't. You're really bad at this. Um, you are really bad at this. Oh, the, the number one is. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, there's no number one here, Deb. You just were hovering over, Dom Dom. Where's yeah, the number the, one? The By number. the... The blue one. To That's the a, left. There's no, like, there's no one okay. here. There is a one next to it. Do you not That's see it? That's a five. That's, That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. I got it, but... Yeah, that's what that's what you need to have up so you can see the text. Yeah, text. It says hello, 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 hello. hello. Uh, Deb, okay, uh, good evening. Sounds good over here in New Jersey. So, what do you think of the Kavanaugh guy? Did he do anything wrong? <laughs> I don't know, and I don't want to talk politics. I'm sorry. 
That's if, just me. If the rubber yeah. don't fit, you must quit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I well, don't know. I don't really have any. Uh, Your aunt was Oh God, she's going out of the hospital. I don't have a opinion yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, call back because I, I, again, like I said, we don't have the ringer itself on. We don't have it on because we don't want it going on over the air. I had to look at the visual cue and I wasn't looking at the screen. I do apologize. So Kathy, please call back. We'd love to hear from you. Um, oh crap! There we go. Uh, I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. Stay on that page. I got it on that page, Deb. Would you like to run the board? See? See, she shuts up at that point. Oh, yeah. She, she, the cricket noises go off. No, no, I don't want to run the board. No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Deb, you want to do it? Not right now, but I'm not in the mood. No, I don't feel like getting yelled at by her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> that Only kid's going to need counseling. She walked in on her own. Yeah, that kid's going to need counseling. I need counseling after 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 that after doing anything with Deb. That kid is going to need counseling. Stop! Shut up, Deb. Let's not talk about that. Wow. That, we don't talk about such things on the air. That here. poor kid. She's going to need severe counseling. No. Deb Deb needs severe counseling. Oh, was, okay. Here we go. Let's answer the phone this time. Well, why don't you pay attention? I did pay attention. Barely. You almost missed it. I didn't almost miss it. Hello, you're live on the air with some kind of radio show on the Some Kind of Radio Network. Hi, how are you? Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? Well, we're here on the Some Kind of Radio Network. Oh, will you stop calling it the Some Kind of Radio Network? I'm I'm messing with her all night, Kathy. Hi, Miss yeah. Kathy. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I'm here in this craziness. You don't have oh to be. God. I'm texting. I'm like, oh, when I text for songs, you get it right away. But now what's going on? Yeah, I, well, I, I, well, I wasn't looking at the screen because... Because he's a terrible board operator. No, I was... I was Actually, I'm like... Kathy, he's a terrible I'm, board operator. I'm just not watching the screen. That's my he, fault. Exactly. Kathy, you tell him he's fired. Pilot error. No, you, you can't fire him. No, you, 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 te- you tell him because I don't have the heart. You don't have the heart. You don't have the heart to tell me, huh? I don't have the heart. I already told you I was retiring. I want to know what coffee beer tastes From like. From bowling. Like coffee and beer? Tony, like you. Coffee uh, and coffee beer? Does it yeah. taste more like coffee or more like beer? More like beer, but it's, it's got the hint of coffee to it. Yeah, it's just it's got coffee notes to it, best way I can describe it to you. Like a coffee. Will you get your boobs out of my face? They're not in your face, but they will the, be later. No, they won't. Trust me. No, they won't, because you got you need to shave your chest. I told you about that shit. <laughs> I'm on a I'm on a roll and ah god, so she grabs my nipple. She grabbed my okay. nipple. She's grabbing my nipple and she's twisting really hard. Do you get purple nipple? <laughs> no, you better not. Oh, that hurts so bad. Kathy help hey, me. I, Take it back. I heard she hurt you a lot. She's very painful. Oh my god, she's grabbed she my is. Oh my god. <laughs> Take it back. Great, my nipples all wet. I think I milked. Here you go. Yeah. First time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dylan's going to need to go to counseling. Dylan's going to need to go to counseling after this. Lori, if you're listening, we'll go to group therapy together. Yeah, therapy's good. How's the weather out there? It's cold. It was cold here. It was nice today. It was nice yeah. today. It, yesterday, it yesterday sucked. Yesterday sucked. I had to. I would get this yesterday. Oh gosh. I'm outside yesterday at four. I, I went to work at four o'clock, and I got. I had to go out. We have volleyball at uh, my work. Okay. He got. He got there, and I said, "Surprise! You got to do the volleyball court." <clears throat> and I'm like, "Oh, joy!" Which I said, "Okay." So I go out there, and I'm, you know, I'm on the tractor, and I'm tilling the sand in the volleyball courts. I got my. I got my coat on. And I'm like. And these freaking nuts are gonna go out Farmer and play. In, in, and these nuts are gonna play in their shorts and Farmer tank Earl. tops. Yep. And we're trudging around, losing our shoes in the sand. You know. Yeah, true story. I almost lost. It was, my it was like shoes. sludge. It wasn't just like. Oh it, yeah, it, it, it was it, 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 very wet sand. Very yeah. very wet sand. No, not quick. Yeah. Just very, wet and slow. All right. Yeah. yeah very very right, yeah. So yeah, I'm out there, and you know, I get I get the tractor actually stuck at one point, and this yeah. thing's pretty powerful. You know, I'm like I'm like, come on, baby. it actually stalled, so I had to restart it. 
I had to lift up the. It happened a couple times. It happened a couple times, and uh, I was able to get back. You know, but I I, I tilled the volleyball yesterday, and then uh, it was cold. And it was chilly. I mean, I'm used to doing that, going out there and like sweating your ass, sweating off. my ass off in yeah. 85, 90 degrees, and like I'm freezing. I got my coat on doing yeah. the volleyball yesterday, and I'm like, of course, last night watching these nuts, and they're out there and they're freezing their asses off, but they're playing in this wet sand. And well, for how much they drink while they do it, yeah, they're well, probably warm. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. yeah. Antifreeze. That's antifreeze. Yeah, antifreeze. Yeah, all right. But yeah, I mean, so yeah, it was. But yesterday was sucked. Today was beautiful. I mean, the the weather here was absolutely gorgeous. And, right. and it's uh, going to be nice all weekend. A little chillier tomorrow in mid sixties, but then I'll take se- mid, I'll take mid sixties this time of year. Seventy on Sunday. Speaking yeah, of chilly, they're saying it's going to be picking tomorrow and Sunday supposed to be real we should sunny have a chilly. and sixty. Yeah, yeah. they're I'll saying here it's supposed to be eighty one by though, midweek. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll take. I'll take nothing but rain. Indian summer. Ugh. I'll tell you what. And it's like two weeks ago, we had like ninety. You know, yeah. I was like, yeah. really? I'm like, then a week before that, we had like fifties and rain. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. It's crazy this this time of year, though. I mean, but it's because of the hurricanes. Yeah. You know, thanks, you know, Trump. Before you yeah, know, we'll be having snow. <laughs> Y'all, God, I don't want to hear that, that dead that that dreaded S word, snow. I don't even think about There's that. No word. Dub, that's it. We're moving south. <laughs> yeah, go to Florida. Good. I no, finally no, get away from you. Yeah. We're going to go to Florida. What do you think, Dub? P- Pompano Beach. We're going to go to Pompano. <laughs> <laughs> I, final, I finally get away from Earl and his farts of death. My farts of death? What are you trying oh. to say? My shit stinks? Your, your farts smell like rotten eggs yeah. farted. <laughs> <laughs> my rotten a fart smelled like rotten eggs that farted. Yes, that's what your farts smell like. Oh, well. I should know. I've been trapped in very small rooms with you. <laughs> well, how about at least I didn't fart that one time. Was it two weeks ago? We had to work on that ball return together. Yeah, we were in very very close quarters. Me and Dylan were. Yeah, I was like, this is kind of this is kind of creepy. I was like, Hopefully, no one farts. <laughs> Is it just me, or does, does, does anybody else have uh, visions of this that you couldn't really even put on this kind of radio? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I get I get very terrible visions. <laughs> it's it's something we couldn't. There are so Did many Dylan things. give you permission to out him? For what? He hasn't come out of the closet yet, but you just threw him out. I walked out earlier on my own accord. Our <laughs> our second studio is a closet. Yeah. yeah. He came out of the closet. I and came out earlier. It, studio, and I went back in. Yeah. Studio B is a closet. Then I went back in. Yeah, then he went back into Studio B. And I shut myself in. And he spent five minutes alone. So that's what your partner's All called right, what, now, Studio B? What's, what's inside mm-hmm. Studio B? Studio B is just uh, a table, a couple chairs, a couple microphones, a couple microphones a small and a board. Couple, small board and a computer. I mean, it's a very, very tiny little room. But for now. For now, we're gonna take some walls out and get yeah, kicked right. Out. We're gonna yeah. take walls out. No, but what's that? I'm sorry, Kathy. Well, I mean, what's what studio? Do you have like two different <coughs> computers that you're gonna work with? Well, Studio B is kind of a it's a contingency studio for us. Um, also, it's a studio we can use to pre-record programs if there's ever a need for a pre-recorded show where they can actually. They could do their show like they would normally do it on the air, but then we'll just pre-record the whole thing, and then we can, you know, record it for later. Oh, that's pretty good. You could always play it back. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we could do. We'll be able to do pre-recorded shows out of there. We'll be able to record promos out of there, and also it's a backup for whenever we have to do maintenance on the main system. We just uh, take you. Know, we yeah. sw- we switch it from that one to you know from this one to that one, just like we do when we go to remote. You know, we switch. Right. We switch over from we just switch the location where we emanate out of. You know that's all we do. And also, it's really good for going in and thinking about your feelings and crying. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just like a little meditation. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's, 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 it's actually it's my chamber of sorrow. But yeah. actually, Dylan likes it because there's a little fish uh, yeah. light in there. there it, a it's fish. a little like rainbow fish light, and uh-huh. he likes to turn the light off and turn the rainbow fish light on. He like it, it's. For him, it feels cozy for him. It does. He likes it. It he, does. There's actually... You, you, there, you have a problem with feeling cozy? Actually, you know what, Kathy, I'm going to do right now. I'm, I'm thinking about it because just because we're thinking about it. I took this picture, but I didn't share it with everybody. I'm going to share it on... Why not? I'm going to share it on the public page. 
Okay. Now I'm going to share it on the, sh- uh, the some kind of radio show page. That's what I'm going to do. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm okay. going to I'm going to share it on some kind of radio show. This is Dylan. So this is going to be a it. picture of Dylan in Studio B sitting earlier. This was the other night. <coughs> this is going to be Dylan in Studio B. I'm going to uh, hold on, man. Let me. What is so funny? You. You, Dylan. You're, well, yeah, obviously, yeah. but you're a funny guy, Dylan. Earl, what's funny to you? I'm just a funny guy. You're funny looking. Uh, that's that's why I'm on the radio, dude. You think I want to be on TV? On the LLC page or the prom- promotion? No, no, it's gonna be some kind. There's some kind of radio show, not the not the station page. My per, you know, it's the uh, public page. No, the the show page. Oh, show page. Some yeah. kind of radio show page. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say Dylan, in, yeah. Thinking, I want to think, Dylan thinking about coming out of the closet. Out of the closet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm looking at, I'm looking, I'm with the toilet paper and the glasses. I'm looking at that. Hello, yeah. my name is Charmin. Yeah. And, okay. I just shared it. I just shared it on there now. Okay. It, it's, it's a little room. Like I said, this is, this, I, I, I have no problem showing everybody what it is. It's just a little room. Oh, it's going to let me know when the... Okay, it's just posted, so you're going to see... Okay, it's, okay, it's on some kind of radio show page, not the station page. And Some kind of radio show. Yep, it's going to be there. And it's going to say, Dylan, coming out of the closet of Studio B. <laughs> and he's sitting there and he's... Now I have some kind of radio network, then I have promotion page, then yeah. I have... Some kind of radio show is his own page. It, it's, the sh- it's the show page. Okay. Deb, Deb's going to share it, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're going to see uh, Dylan sitting there. He's got, his little, he's got his little, hmm, look at me. I'm cool. I think I have to poop. You think you have to poop? Maybe that's what you were thinking about when this photo was taken. Yeah. I think I have to poop. You have to poop? I think I have to poop. I just tagged her. All right. So where did she post yeah. it? I tagged you. Deb, Deb tagged you. Debbie mentioned you. Okay, I see it. She tagged me. Okay, now now I see it. I was on the right page. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's cute. What's wrong with that picture? It's nice. Yeah, well, Dylan, 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 Dylan that, that's Studio B. That, that is our Studio no. B. Studio B. Yeah, that's our, that's our second studio that we've set up. That That's the temporary setup. There will be a permanent setup here eventually, but that's the temporary setup. Yeah. Right. Now, yeah. now you need to get a little um, salt lamp for the, in there or some incense. Oh, we got a little like fish that. lamp. It's not in the photo, but there's a little fish lamp we got in there. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Yeah. And then... Uh, so when they go in there, they could, it could relax somebody, you know. <laughs> so you, wow. That's so, not see, that kind of equipment. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, we could always move the casting couch. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you can talk to me. I'll soothe you. I'll relax you. I'll make you feel better. You do realize now I know what that sticky white stuff is. Pat's been a little too excited. You think? Okay. Not in the, I'm not in this lifetime. <laughs> That's what I was hearing. Oh, my God. You have to, get, you have to light sage. And yeah. Burn sage in the room. It'll That's like what it is. is. Yeah. See, yeah. see, we got to get Dylan oh, like I'm a. Mario Kart. And we got, we got to get. You know what we got to do? We got to get like a little. Drive, get a lava lamp in there, and you know. Yes. And uh, hippie like. Yeah, you know, a little, str- little, little disco ball. Oh yeah, get a disco yeah. ball in there. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be like that. We we could just put Dylan's room on it. <laughs> Dylan's room. Dylan's room. Do you really have one of those? Do you really have one of those lamps where you know? I, like it, it looks like it's an animal. Sometimes it's a dog. Sometimes it's a cat that has the batteries in it. You, you switch it, and it makes all stars on your ceiling, and they turn all different colors. No, oh, we need that. We don't have that, but we need that. Oh, you need one of them. Yeah, we need I that. I have one of them in my yeah. room. We need, yeah. We, yeah, we need that. And then, uh, you know what that is? Then we get, then we get like a little, get them a little blanky, you know. Uh-huh. Yes. Get, get them a little yeah, blanky. Or, or would you like one of them? Uh, what those little snuggy? Would you like a snuggy? I have one. Oh, you should. These aren't really. You should camo. Right. You're better off with a regular blankie. Dylan likes his snuggie. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, you're gonna bring your snuggie in and yeah. do like. You know what would be good if we ever like decide to do like a an on air radio marathon for something yeah. like that. You know, Is a that'd be a good room to do it in. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know, that'd be like comfortable at night, especially in the overnight hours. You know, you kind of just go in there. I remember that Chandler. Chandler is hot. Yeah. 
I'll remember that Chandler. <laughs> I'll remember that Chandler. <laughs> That's funny. I'm coming for you. That's what she said. Ah, uh, now you got it. Now you got it. Oh, now you got it. You got it. Uh, you got it. I'm proud of you. I have pride. So you gotta do your you gotta do your Star Wars thing tonight. No, we're doing Star Trek. Star Trek Voyager. Star Trek. That's what yeah, Star Trek. Tonight's the final night of Star Trek for the month. We uh, we did an entire month of uh, Star Trek salutes. We, you know, we started out with the original series and we moved on to TNG. The next generation. Right. Then we did Deep Space Nine last week. This week we're doing Voyager. This week we're Voyager. Yeah. Okay. Are you yeah. ever gonna do Star Wars? At some point. Yeah. That, you know, I've be, been begging for it. Well, that'll probably be that'll be the week after I retire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are dicks. <laughs> <coughs> well, you remember I told you because you, you you're you, you know you're you're my successor, Dylan. You know I mean. Yeah, you guys are dicks. <laughs> I want to do Star Wars. Just because I talk about yeah. re, just because I talk about retiring from on air. Being an on-air talent, you know, I mean, there's, there's some, there's, I am talking about it, but I haven't done it yet, but I am discussing it. I want to do you, Star like, Wars. You could let, you, you could let um, <coughs> Dylan do a little Star Wars. That would be cool. He could do his, yeah, well, after he takes the show over, he can do whatever he wants with it. Yeah. Um, he, he, he might start saluting pornos. Who knows? No, <laughs> but, no. Mike, Week one, Tony's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here you, you can notice the uh, undershot. <laughs> yeah. Tony, did you wax beforehand? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Dylan. 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 Yeah. You call it sick kind of radio show. Yeah, yeah. Dylan always wanted to be that guy. It, it worked in por- pornography that got that deep shot underneath yeah. where the stuff you know, and stuff like drips down and. Not really. Oh yeah, Dylan wanted to be that guy. I confided in you in confidence. <laughs> Now you're really letting stuff out of the yeah. closet. Yeah, see, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be the guy that gets that under, underneath shot, you know? He, hey, stop saying out of the closet. It hurts my face. Yeah, he wanted to get the ball okay. slapping a shot. That's what he wanted. He wants to get he that wanted, tight he zoom. He wanted to taste that hot fudge. Oh! oh. He, he, wanted, he wanted to get in there and get all the... Uh, he, wanted, he, he, he wanted to get the up close and uh, personal look. You know? yeah. He, yeah. Up close yeah. and up personal. Close and, up close and personal. Up close and personal. Up close and personal. How you like that? Dylan's all about getting up close and personal. I, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, I gotta get the up close and personal. Stuff. Up close and personal. Up close and personal. That's what Dylan likes to do. Well, you know, we should get up close. And now personal. I know why we have a casting couch. Yeah, <laughs> for, those, for those up close and personal. See, that's what happens when I'm not here. Okay, yeah. I mean, it, you know, we should get up close and personal too. How about a break? Yeah, that's a great idea. I like yeah, that. I take a break. All right. I'll talk to you guys later because I'm I'm sure other people want to call. Okay, I'm Kathy. On your phone. All right, Kathy. All right. Thanks for calling. All right, good talking to you, too. All right. Bye, Kathy. Okay, bye. 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 All right. We're going to go to break. Bye, everybody. Bye, Debbie. Bye. 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 What are you doing to my head, Deb? Massaging. Well, you you ever massage my head like that any other time? You wanting something? Different head. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. All right. Some kind of radio show here on SKO. We'll be right back. Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. In the past six months, the FCC has given out over $2 million in fines to television networks for obscenity violations. That's right, but you know, the networks are complaining that they can't really tell themselves what is and what is not obscene. So we're going to figure it out this morning right here on Today Now. Joining us is FCC spokesman Samuel Leslie. Mr. Leslie, how do you at the FCC go about deciding exactly what can and cannot go on TV? The key word is context. There's no reason to fear a fine as long as your content has uh, artistic or factual merit. 
Such merit can be found in programming ranging from NBC's Nightly News to CBS's sitcom How I Met Your Mother, starring Allison Hannigan. Well, could you give us an example of artistic merit? Well, if uh, Allison Hannigan were to take her top off during an uh, upcoming episode of How I Met Your Mother, that would not in and of itself uh, fall within the definition of obscenity. Well, now, how would that be any different from the infamous uh, wardrobe malfunction of Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl a few years ago? Well, what Miss Jackson did was a tacky, lewd publicity stunt. Uh, whereas I'm sure any person uh, can see the inherent artistic value in Allison Hannigan slowly peeling away layer after layer of clothing until her milky white bosom is in full view, obscured only by a few wisps of her auburn hair. That would be acceptable. It would be beautiful. Well, I understand you have some clips that we're going to show to help illustrate this. Yes. Now, in this scene, Allison's character, Lily, is trying to convince her boyfriend, Marshall, that they should be more adult. Now, if she were to tear her shirt off to show him how serious she is, that would not warrant a fine, since it would be consistent with her character. Or Allison could come into the room with her shirt already off. But what if Marshall were the one to take off his clothes? That could result in a fine of up to $500 million. You know, I could give uh, additional examples. Let's say that the producers of the tragically canceled Veronica Mars wanted to do a nude scene with their character Trina Eccles, played by Allison Hannigan. She could be pulling herself out of a pool to uh, reveal that she isn't wearing a suit. What do you say to people who say that the quality of television is headed south, Mr. Leslie? Uh, I think that there is some legitimacy to, uh, to that. And I would actually encourage more of the networks to be bringing in talented people, such as Allison Hannigan, into their programming. For example, for example, on uh, Allison Hannigan's IMDb page, uh, there's a credit for an unaired pilot called Me and the Boys, or there was a script that crossed my desk that featured a uh, beautiful female who falls in love with a governmental representative from the FCC. Uh, personally, I could envision someone with the talent and beauty of, say, Allison Hannigan. Uh, in the role of that female. There really should be more programming that features her talent. Mr. Leslie, thank you so much for your time this morning and clearing all this up for us. Thank you. Are you ready to have your huevos turned into balls of fury? Are you ready to be right for once, no matter how many times she's told you you're wrong? Are you ready for the new concept in manliness? It's time to throw down your clubs. It's time to climb out of the caves. It's time to join the onslaught of masculinity. Tune in to the Manpocalypse with Mike and Aaron every Saturday night from 7 to 10 p.m. right here on the SKO Radio Network. Hit me, baby, one more time. You're listening to SKO Radio, where there is no fake news. Fact is, we don't have any news at all. We're alone in an uncharted part of the galaxy. We've already made some friends here, and some enemies. We have no idea of the dangers we're going to face. But one thing is clear. Both crews are going to have to work together if we're to survive. That's why Commander Chakotay and I have agreed that this should be one crew, a Starfleet crew. And as the only Starfleet vessel assigned to the Delta Quadrant, We'll continue to follow our directive, to seek out new worlds and explore space. But our primary goal is clear. Even at maximum speeds, it would take 75 years to reach the Federation. But I'm not willing to settle for that. There's another entity like the caretaker out there somewhere who has the ability to get us there a lot faster. We'll be looking for her. And we'll be looking for wormholes, spatial rifts, or new technologies to help us. Somewhere along this journey, we'll find a way back. Mr. Paris, set a course for home. Aye, Captain. You're listening to some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 
200-5110. All right. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. All right, we're back on some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Network. Thank you. Thank we're you. live until uh, midnight tonight. It's not the some kind of radio network. I keep telling them if I hear that again from I'm going to go. I'm going to some go. kind of radio network. <laughs> yeah, we're not that. That's here's the thing. <clears throat> I, 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 want, I do want to explain this. SKO Radio Network means some kind of radio network. But we're not branded as some we kind of... We have call ra- letters. We have call letters. We're, we're branded as the SKO Radio Network. The only thing that's some kind of is some Our kind show. of radio show. Right. And kid show. And yes. some kind of kid show. The SKO, yes, that is what it means. And where did we but get that our name? branding name is SKO, and it's like I, I got to get a few people away from selling it some kind of radio network because that's not. It is the name of it, but it's not yeah, the name. Happy. Who <laughs> me? He don't call it that. I'm messing with him. Who me? Yeah, you. <clears throat> Pat don't call it that. As he chokes. And, and you know, I was just going to give you a compliment about how how good these things are. <laughs> Now, now, he's gonna, now he's going to You change. can cook. Huh? <laughs> she can cook. You can cook. And that's Thank not you. and that's not manwich either. That's the homemade stuff. I mean, that's not that's the real deal. Between what you gave me and that little uh, glass jar <laughs> that I had a sample of on my show last week. Mm-hmm. And oh my god, I was in heaven. It's good stuff, isn't it? That, but and he only had the original last time. Oh, if, yeah, if the you, high things are good stuff. If you would just imagine uh, tasting an apple pie mm-hmm. with a with a piece of cinnamon stuck in it, mm-hmm. that's what that stuff tastes like. Oh right. my God, I was in heaven. It's good. Thought isn't about it? that all week. It's great stuff. And now I hear I sit down to some original homemade sloppy joes. Mm-hmm. And oh my God! See, we we this we, girl can cook. So she, she you could, her. I know. That's like, well, that's the first thing I asked her when we, we got together when she moved in with me. I was like, "Hey, I got one question for you. Can you cook?" And she goes, not, you're, you "I said, now nah, you're out of here." I mean, <laughs> that's no joke. Because I I was engaged two times prior before, I and mean, I never got married either time. But neither one of them could cook. Neither one of them could cook. One. Got with Deb, she could cook. I'm like, okay, you're you're in. You, you're in. I've kept her ever since. <laughs> but yeah, what kind of show is this? This is a kind of show that you go, what the mm. hell am I listening to? Kind of makes you go, hmm. This is the high octane. Oh, this is a high, this is a high oh, octane. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this show is the show, this, this is the show that started the whole station. He <laughs> likes my sloppy joes. He ought to try my lasagna. Oh, oh yeah lasagna you know we talked about doing a chili cook-off yes we are talking when are we going to do that we should do that here this winter i think we should now mine is 12 alarm i i I will warn you hotter the better buddy yeah i'm gonna have to bring in release forms for y'all to sign like Mm -hmm. like that one wing place does for their atomic i will tell you this and i'll let you know when it is Uh our favorite bar does one okay i'll get you the dates when they do it okay you should definitely enter your chili in it yeah because i'm i want to I want to get venison for it. Oh, now you're talking. Oh, man. I can hook you up. I got some. Yeah, because I prefer to use ground venison. I got some. Yeah, if, we got a whole freezer full. Yeah, it, D- D- Dylan got us some last year. It's it, still in the freezer. Because if, if not, I usually use ch- uh, beef chorizo. Ooh. Because I like to use chorizo. And I can hook him up stuff. with chorizo from oh, Joanne. He only no, uses beef I, chorizo. I, I, you be, beef That's chorizo. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, she I, gets I, it by the case. Well, I, I usually just, I just buy a couple of the, uh, the tubes of it from the. Uh, grocery store. She can get it fresh ground. So, Ooh, that I might... mean, either or. I mean, yeah. I, and I like chorizo. Just but like, I, yeah, I like, it's I like pasty. I like the idea of doing. Yeah, I, I, I like. I do want to do a chili cook-off. I think it'd be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Kind of a way to get the people involved. Involved. You know, get the staff involved, and you know, kind of like, hey, local area, we're gonna do a chili cook-off. We'll do a little fun prize. You know, it doesn't have to be anything big. It doesn't you know? necessarily have to be the hottest chili either. No, it's, no. it's the best my chili. My Irish, my Irish chili. How about my how about my chili? Yours is good too, but I can't eat it. I and it can't be, you make your turkey. And it can't be soupy either. No. no. I make a nothing worse than thick. chili soup. I make a red red sauce uh-huh. chicken chili. See when I like when I do mine I do a chicken chili, it's killer. I usually, you know, I killer. use like I put I put uh, kidney beans in. Mm-hmm. I also I put black beans in mine. Oh yeah. And uh and then you know diced tomatoes, and I use the cans of diced tomatoes with the green chilies. Mm-hmm. 
a little bit of tomato paste. Oh yeah. You got to put in a little bit of tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. But when when you're putting in the beans and uh, and the and the, the, the nice tomatoes, mm -hmm. you use all the liquid from it because the the liquid from the beans and the liquid from like the tomatoes and whatnot. But because once you simmer it, you're going to simmer it and it's going to thicken up anyway. Right. Right. So well, we're in the nine o'clock hour. You want to yeah, do your review? Yeah, I've I've already got, this is this is going out over the uh, network page. Network page. Of the, the okay, show it's page. going out over the network page. Okay, okay. I'll film it. Yep, film okay. it for me. Okay, wait, let, let, start, I'll start the live video. All righty, let me know. All right, you're you're, you're uh, hold on. So starting video, live video. All right, you're live now on the uh, SKO Radio Network video. All righty, live. Okay, we are doing. We usually do a beer review every uh, every week here on some kind of radio show. This week, I had a little bit of a pickup. I've been trying to find it. Uh, last weekend's trip to Canada, I picked up. He found a, his ex-wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say his ex-wife or his next wife? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not gonna stall fuck her, are you? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> if I, if you start, nope, <laughs> nobody's gonna mind. bottoms up. <laughs> I, uh, I always say I like to drink. I always like to drink out of the uh, skulls, of, skulls of my enemies. Mm -hmm. So I picked oh, up. I picked up uh, uh, some Crystal Head vodka. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's Canadian. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody who knows uh, the actor Dan Aykroyd, he's oh, yes. a ha half owner of the company. Mm -hmm. You know him from Driving Miss Daisy, Blues Brothers, mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. Oh, absolutely. You so, said Crystal Head, right? Crystal Head. Does crystal. that mean a full of meth? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. So, it's not Crystal Meth Head. It's called Crystal Head. Most people are used to Grey Goose, Belvedere, mm -hmm. Absolute, Sky Vodka, Smirnoff, whatever. Uh, this is from Canada, mm -hmm. 80 proof. Uh, you know, and obviously just the bottle alone, I liked. Mm -hmm. It'll make a great, uh, great piece. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. How did he describe it? There was a YouTube video I watched for about I five minutes. There is a YouTube video on it. Uh, so it, you know, it just talks about Crystal Head. It is <coughs> quadruple distilled, mm -hmm. filtered through charcoal, then refiltered through what they call Herkimer diamonds, a semi-precious stone that only appears like a couple places on Earth. Right. <clears throat> so to produce like a clean, you know, a clean, pure taste. And he was like, you know, it's like the, uh, the bartender's friend because it's like a, a blank canvas, a virgin slate. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try it, obviously, plain. Okay. And, of course, you know, you can either make a martini with it, you mm -hmm. know, whatever kind of drinks you want. So now, uh, now, mind you, we've all smelled this. This is definitely not water. This is definitely not water. Yeah. It looks as clear as water, but it is not water. And You know, 80 proof, so I'm going to try like a shot of it. That's an ample shot. There you go. There we go. So, looks about looks like well, a two ounce shot there. A little, little more, but that's okay. So, we'll, you know what that would look really cool with? Huh? Do black and white sand in that bottle. Oh, uh, once we're done. Uh huh. Once you're done with it, oh, that'd be cool. Well, he, you know, there's two recipes he gives. Was their their version of a martini, which is two ounces of crystal head, mm -hmm. uh, an ounce of uh, you know, white vermouth, sweet or dry, right. a splash of olive juice. And then a uh, pearl onion and two olives okay. you know, on a toothpick. And then, of course, there's your classic crystal head martini. Okay. Or a crystal driver is two ounces of crystal head. Mm -hmm. uh, get, like, can uh, oranges, tangerines, clementines or something. Squeeze them. Drizzle, drizzle the juice in it, not like a traditional screwdriver. Right. And it should look like egg yolk permeate, permeating the... Ooh. Ooh, interesting. It'd be interesting. So we'll try this because I'm normally a kettle one guy when it comes to... Uh, to Vodka. Okay. I just like it. You know, it's GMO free, and mm -hmm. you know, it's very. Kettle pure. has a pretty clean taste yeah. too. Kettle, yeah. Kettle and, and 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 kettle ones made distilled from wheat because mm -hmm. most of your vodka is distilled from either wheat or potatoes. Right. Uh, the Russians and the Pol and the Polish use uh, potatoes, and mm -hmm. pretty much everybody else uses wheat, mm -hmm. except for that garbage Tito's vodka. They it's distill it corn. from corn. I love Tito. Now, see, I like Tito's. Blah. Well, it's been forced upon everybody like Fireball. Right. Because your distributors are getting it super cheap yeah. to get it out there. It's only see, a couple I, years old. I, I like it because it's super cheap anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have a bottle of it in, the, in there. I, I actually enjoy it. Well, this this was $40 yeah, for a fifth, so and which is pro pretty much a good deal. Yeah, that's a great deal. So, All right, bottoms up. Yeah, he's going for it. Mmm. Mmm. It's got like a, a real clean taste. Okay. It, do, it doesn't burn going down. It's Does not overly strong. So it's just a like smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth. It's, you know, and it, it would probably be one of the few, a few vodkas I could actually drink on the rocks mm -hmm. as opposed to just drinking it uh, 
I don't know, drinking it with a drink, so would it be something I would buy and drink regularly as opposed to Kettle One? No, I'm still a Kettle One fan. Very good. You know, like I'd give Kettle One about a, about a 9.2 because Belvedere is probably the best, but Belvedere is tough to find and it's expensive. Mm-hmm. So out of this, I would probably, this, this rate's close. I would probably give it about an 8.7. 8.7. Yeah, so it's a very good vodka, very clean vodka. So, yeah, I'd go about an 8.7. Okay. That's not, that's not a bad score. Mm. So, you know, that's, that's my take on it. So, and, and then even when I'm done with it, this will make a great piece for my bar. There you go. So, you got to fill sand. I got sand you can put in it. I'm not putting anything in this bottle. It's going to sit and... So, gonna yeah, that's it. It's going to sit and look good on he his... He wants uh, his phone back. All right, yeah. have your phone back. Yeah, all right, Jason's on the phone. Let's uh, let's talk to... Uh, yeah, let's talk to... Hold on, Jason. Jason, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, how are you guys been doing? Oh, we're doing okay. Well, are you doing Voyager tonight? We are doing Voyager tonight. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Um, and... I am, um, uh, uh, dang, I'm glad to do all the Star Trek, but with the remake of Magnum P.I., are you guys going to do a tribute to the Tom Selleck? Oh, it, at some or? point. Yeah, probably at some point. I mean, yeah, we'll probably, I mean, probably will. I haven't got anything firm yet. I mean, I still haven't, still got to plan out next month's shows, but yeah, we're going to do. We'll do it. We're gonna we're uh, planning on doing like an '80s TV month coming up. I mean, because we're trying to stick with kind of like a theme month type of thing going forward with the show. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do an '80s theme month at some point. So yeah, I'm sure it'll be in the works. Uh, I I do. They film that from what I know. They they film the original one. Original main of PI on one case. And I tell, I tell people what they should have I'm done is I'm they should have um, asked Tom Selk is committed to that <coughs> blue, blue bloods. What's that? Blue bloods. Blue bloods. Yep. Look, they should have made them an offer. They just said, well, we'll double what they're being paid on Blue Bud if they had to killed off on Blue Bud and do a new Magnum P.I. series. And what they could have did is had that younger guy play Magnum P.I.'s either son or nephew mm-hmm. and Tom Selleck have the position of... The, um, what's that British guy's name? Oh, Higgins. Um, Higgins. Yeah. yeah. Well, have I, 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 I think... Have them, run, have them run the property, and I think that would... Because I know a spinoff does better than the remake. I mean, what... I mean, Star Trek was... You had non-stop Star Trek mm-hmm. for eight years. I'm not saying not going that long with Magnum, but um, they could have the, the, uh, they could have offered Tom Selleck a deal. You can't tell me those um, the way they uh, the money in Hollywood they said look, if the it- Blue Blood kills you off <laughs> we'll double your salary to come reprise the role as Magnum, and you will take the position of Higgins, and we'll bring a younger guy in, and you'll mentor him. And and uh, I th- because the spinoff does better than remake. And mm-hmm. to think about it, did you really love the J.J. Abrams Star Trek universe? Mm-hmm. I mean, the only thing I got out of the three movies is action. I mean, for um, Star Trek, 
it came out when I was in eighth grade. Right. And I'm thinking it kind of grew on me, but as I look for high school, then out of the high school, I'm like, it's the same organization, Starfleet, the Federation, the Klingon High Council, same aliens, same people, same it's not the same people, but mm. same species, right. same universe, same politics, but different people. Mm-hmm. And because they land on that base, that's why they went so long. The, uh, I, was talk, I was with someone who were talking about the prequel. Mm-hmm. I had someone tell me they said the did that prequel, but the timing was wrong. What they said they did was take a five year, five year or six year hiatus mm-hmm. after Voyager and watch. And like you said, the prequels were real popular. All they would have oh, yeah, had back to in do, yeah. all, all they would have had to do is watch. George Lucas do his prequels and then learn from his mistakes and and successes because he then made some mistakes and Jar Jar was the biggest one. Oh yeah, um, bad character. Be careful. Be, uh, be careful about us. Okay, Zimar the Paramount to the Sun number one. No, be careful on atomic release, obviously. Uh, number two, be very picky about who plays the part and the timing. And they now episode episode three came out in two thousand five. If they would have waited to two thousand seven. They would have, and plus, all that time, they could have, they could have done like the, what's that guy that made Babylon 5? Mm-hmm. They could have written season one, season two, season three or four mm-hmm. ahead of time. Right. And they would be one or two seasons, and all they would have had to do is hand the, actors, the script, right. and then they would be a season ahead, and they would they would have had what they should have done just like because it was a prequel. I mean, Enterprise had the built and ending, but it would have been such, such a way the last seat, it was Every season would have been like the last season. It would have came together like a puzzle. This what Babylon 5, Robotech, it, or, and Star Wars. It, and they said them that they would have had more time of, um, black this whole thing through. Now, you might have not got got back while waiting that long, he would have been too old, but it would have been more plot out, and who knows if they would have waited that long, and they in uh, the sci-fi channel would have got with that, they were gonna play in the Steve Prickle, and they were playing in it for a few years. They might have picked it up. Mm-hmm. No, I, I yeah. hear you. I hear you, Jason. You're right, and you're you're and right. All they, and then you would have had all these truckers waiting about uh, waiting about a good six to seven years for this prequel, and they're going through these trucks with raw pains, and the, then. The, then they're building up all the hype for it. All the right. hype will become, oh, we're going to find out how 
only thing came to be. Right. And then they would have had the fan <clears throat> base. And number two, even the Bonanza what would what one of the prequel again they took away that and two after George Lucas's last movie to figure well how that because Frickle's been done before but George Lucas did the such a way yeah, we everything did one too. came together like a puzzle and uh, and they would I'm not saying a copycat, but get some idea how yeah. they're going, how, how, because he, he really made the prequel for a big, do, they sort of weighed it and seen how, and because of two, one thing and then the, the business learned from people's competitors, the right. competitors screw Right, but, right, right. Um, but what um, do you think I'm right on it? You think if they would have waited it after episode three came out, the prequels were done, then do a Star Trek TV series prequel, and plus it would have had that year's gap mm-hmm. between what the do you think Enterprise would have worked out better I, if they would have waited a few years? Well, yeah, let me give you my thought, and then we'll, we're going to run the break after this, Jason. But uh, let me give you my thought on that. Um, I agree with you on that. I think, uh, and, and this is something that Adam and I talked about at the end of last week's show with the Star Trek uh, going from, right from Voyager to Enterprise. Um, yes, I agree with you. I think we. I think they should have waited at least a season. And maybe not two or three year gap, but maybe one year, and then you know had more time for development. A, B, give the fans something to miss because you know we had, like you said, we had uh, the Enterprise, uh, not Enterprise, we had uh, Next Generation, we had uh, Deep Space Nine and Voyager all done consecutively and overlapping some. Um, so you had about a good twelve years of. Uh, 13 years so or so of uh, continuous Star Trek in one form or another, you know, it got down to this prequel, you know, I, I mean, I had nothing against the prequel, but should they have waited a year? Maybe. Yes, absolutely. They should have. I mean, that's just my thought on it. And I think, I think, I think they should have waited at least a year and then gave the fans something to miss. And then, Hey, let's, instead of, Hey, they rolled right out of Voyager they gave you know the summer hiatus, which was like two months. It was like an eight week break, and they came right back with Enterprise. And you know it was exciting for a couple. Yeah, it was exciting to see it. But the only one that really, their, their most rated episodes was the very first one and the very last one. That was the only two. That that was the two most popular ones as far as the ratings go. So well, yeah, I agree far, with you, Jason. Far as I'm see every episode, every episode, uh, I. I don't like seeing Riker in the end of Troy, but every episode in the final in the final season I watched it mm-hmm. and it came together like a puzzle. It did. If you were a hardcore fandom, you knew even if they didn't do that last episode You, you knew what was coming. Seeing the, seeing the Troy and there's... Riker, do you know when, when Archer got up and gave that speech mm-hmm. to, in that room to the Dalkets, which was the coalition of the planet? Mm-hmm. Everyone knows that, that it, it was the precursor to the Federation. Oh, everyone knew that. So, everyone knew that, Jason. So, and you knew that the fact that industry partner, they were getting the, the uh, lonely ones started yeah. pissing all the all the neighbor neighboring if you I I agree were, that that was how the, it was like I mean I could watch I could watch I could watch Episode one, mm-hmm. and episode two, mm-hmm. never seen 
Revenge of the Sith. Yep, you can. Because by you, episode two, I knew mm -hmm. just by seeing all those clones marching. You, you, you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. You knew what was going to happen. I mean, you knew you knew what it was all leading to. I mean, that's that's the whole point you're making, and I and and I that's the point I was making. I agree. But Jason, I got to run along, buddy. I got to get the break. Okay. Okay, do take care. All right. And, um, okay. Bye. All right. Bye, bud. Bye. All right. We'll talk to you next time. All right. We're gonna run the break. Uh, you listen to some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. We'll be right back. It's true that I fart, but I wouldn't call myself a farter. I'm a social farter. I really only do it when I'm out with my friends that fart. We hang out, we drink, we dance. Just have some fun being together. Farting. Sometimes I'll use farting as an excuse to meet a guy. Do you want to go outside for a fart? We talk. We fart. Just because I fart at parties now and then, it doesn't make me a farter. Being a small business owner can be the challenge of a lifetime. To worry about every little aspect of growing your business is no easy task. Paramount to these is reaching and growing your customer base. That's where we here at the SKO Radio Network can help. With an ever-broadening local, national, and international audience, we can come up with an advertising plan that's right for you and your reach. Easy and affordable rates are available. You can bring your own ad, or we can produce your ad for you right here in-house. Give us a call at 234-706-5857. That number again is 234-706-5857. Or drop us a line at office at skoradio.com. SKO Radio Advertising. The only thing easier is listening. In the beginning, Pat created Ham Radio Heaven. But somehow it just wasn't enough. Listeners wanted more. So they went back to the drawing board, hoping to create that perfect show. Something is going to happen. What? What's going to happen? Something wonderful. Join Dale and I for Radioactive as we discuss technology and life in the world around us. That's Radioactive, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays here on SKL. Hey everyone, Aaron K. back here from the Manpocalypse Radio Show. And if you're anything like me, well, you're going to need a lot of therapy. But until then, it's time to stop using your mobile devices and your point-and-click cameras to capture those moments that mean so much to you. Why settle for random shots when you can have your event or milestone captured correctly and rendered into something you simply can't take your eyes off of? M. Hague Photography will shoot your senior, wedding, bar mitzvah, anniversary hell he'll even do your parole hearing if the court will allow it easy to work with affordable and not just a true professional but a real artist with an eye for the amazing and editing skills that are second to none look i'm not just saying this because he's my friend and co-host oh no he's already done my son's senior portraits and our family portraits as well and they are of such quality that i can't think of anywhere where we don't have these on display m Haig photography 330-430-9747. You can also reach him at mhagphoto at gmail.com. That's mhag Photography, a real man's photographer. 
this is Harry Jack Bob, and you're listening to the new Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Now with 100% more itchy bows. Captain's log, stardate 50732.4. The Teresians have escorted us back to their home world, so we can continue to investigate their claim that Ensign Kim is a member of their race. Welcome. We're so glad to have you here. This is a day of celebration. Another Teresian has returned. Welcome. You're home now, Harry. Uh, wait a minute. I still don't understand how this is possible. We'd like to ask some questions before we start celebrating. Of course. Our doctor has found some genetic fragments in my DNA, which could be part of an alien genetic structure. Yes, those are your Teresian genes. They're becoming active. We'd be happy to provide your doctor with some DNA samples for comparison. What I want to know is how I could have gotten them. You were conceived here, on this world. While you were still an embryo, you were placed in stasis and taken to Earth to be implanted in the womb of an Earth woman. My mother. What did you do to her? She would have been completely unaware of the procedure. After the implantation process, the child begins to incorporate some DNA from the surrogate parent. You developed physically as a human, so she would have thought you were her natural child. But you're saying I'm not. We understand how you feel. Everyone here was born on other worlds. We all found our way back home, like you, and discovered we're not quite who we thought we were. Harry, maybe you'd like to sit down. Why don't you go get him something to drink? All of your children are born to alien parents. Yes. And when they return, each child brings an infusion of new genetic material, as well as years of first-hand experience about another culture. But Harry wasn't trying to return here. We came to the Delta Quadrant by accident. His DNA was encoded with certain instincts, including the desire to explore space. Your accident may have brought him here faster, but he always would have been driven to find his way back. You are the first to return from such a great distance. Harry. That's how Teresians say thank you, isn't it? <sighs> but how could I know so much about a place I've never been? It's been coded into your Teresian genes. As you've gotten closer to home and seen familiar sights, your dormant genetic memory has been reawakened. You'll remember more about us as you spend time here. I know it all seems strange now, but you are one of us, Harry. Can't you feel it? <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. I can. Then stay with us a while. Celebrate. Come, have something to eat. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. All right, it's uh, 9.50. <laughs> this is going to be a very quick session here this and is a quick break. Yeah, it's gonna be a very yeah. quick uh 10 minute segment here yeah and then we're gonna go to break again in 10 minutes and then we're gonna drink beer and then we're gonna we're, i thought we we're gonna do the review now don't we we do it at 10 Duh. But, but why not just do it now and get it over with because then you have nothing to do at 10 we do have things to oh, do we got 10. plenty to do we got plenty to do we're just gonna move it up 10 minutes name? i'm not telling frida. you frida yeah frida she, she can take two she can take two dicks at once in the same hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's drink. <coughs> All right, beer review time. <coughs> All right. I, ooh, how do you like this review? Ooh. ooh. The chips are in the way, but. Courtesy of your new phone case. Courtesy of my new phone case. Yeah. Except Deb. Except Deb's in the way. <laughs> Earl, you, you switch places with Deb. Hold on a minute. I'll just get a better angle. A uh, better angle. Yeah, there you go. Now you can't see me. Uh, we can see you now. Unfortunately, yeah, we see everybody. Hey, hey, wait a minute. There's Deb out of the screen now. Yeah, hey. oh, so she punches me. 
It's not evil nice. like you that. shouldn't do that. It is time for the SKO beer review. And we're doing it 10 minutes early tonight, but that's okay. Courtesy of me. Courtesy of Dylan. Actually, this is courtesy of uh, a buddy of mine who bought these beverages. A friend of mine. Courtesy my, of Mr. Earl's buddy. My buddy, Mr. Mike Malone, who um, used to be a part of the show e- e- eons ago and the couple iterations back. But. Courtesy of the guy who uh, finally won a bowling tournament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, finally. finally. Yeah, barely. Uh, anyway, this is... Oh, um, lost to me. Yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, this is uh, something I've never even seen before. This is called... Uh, this is from the Big Timber Brewing Company. This is the uh, Big Timber IPA. So... Familiar. Yeah. Fresh. Piney. That's what it says, right? Familiar, fresh, and piney. Hey, you know who we got to tag in this video? My our, our boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Our, our boss at the... Uh, Created, the brewed, and canned by Big Timber Brewing Company <clears throat> at 2 Davis. Because you know how much he loves IPAs. Uh, right. Yeah, that's what we got to say. Yeah. Hey, tag where, him in the video. I know where Elkins is. Yeah. T- tag, tag him in the video. All right. Because he loves IPAs. Not really. We're, we're, he hates IPAs. <laughs> our boss at our regular job, he's a, he's a beer guy. He loves his beers. And we have a wide variety of craft beverages over there. But, you know, they keep bringing all these IPAs. He's not an IPA guy at all. I mean, he'll, he, he'll drink them. He's got, he'll try them because he wants to know what they taste like. Oh, yeah. we, we tried one yesterday. Yeah. He hated it. Yeah. Yeah. He'll tell he you, hated it. He'll tell you flat off he hates yeah, it. Yeah, right? he, he hated it. He, he's he, like, he, he goes, it's, to, to him, it tastes like pine saw. That's, he, what he, that's yeah. exactly what he said. He sipped it. He goes, pine saw. And poured it down the drain. You know, pine saw. Yep. Right right to the distributor's face, I'm sure. Yeah. No. No? No, we, we found a sample. Oh, okay. Uh, found a sample. In the walk-in. Oh, and, okay. Uh, well, we, we actually did one, uh, that blood orange one. Mm-hmm. That was actually pretty decent that he, I mean, him tried. Yeah. And we did that, you know, that was, that was kind of like during a lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he's hey, you want to try this? Yeah. Well, let me think about it for a minute. Yes. Yeah, beer on my lunch. Hey, sure. Yeah. I'll have a, yeah. Okay. Why not? Yeah. I'm not you used to that. No. What ain't gonna hurt? <laughs> Did you tag him in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ritz loves IPAs. So, um, but we are gonna we're gonna give this thing a try. Do we have any cups? No. Well, we're out of cups. Let's drink it out of the can the way right. God intended. Fuck! I hate that. All right, we're going to crack it open. It's probably going to taste like you're chewing on a pine tree. It's probably going to taste like a pine tree. Yeah. Just remember, I I'll tell you what, it's very piney. I will say this. Very, very, very piney. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sense we have a yeah. beer that's going to rate lower than Leffy. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I <laughs> I like a good IPA. Yeah. Everyone, and it's got to be a good IPA. IPAs. Time, time for Dylan to crack his open. Here's the thing with IPAs. Don't waste it. There's no, either they're good or they're bad. There's no in the middle road IPA. It's either they're good definitely, or they're bad. It definitely is a very piney. piney. And even says it. Piney. And here's the thing. It even says it on the can. Fresh, familiar piney. So that's gonna mean it's gonna probably gonna taste like pine saw. I mean, that's my, that's my, that's my, familiar, familiar means pine saw, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it does smell like a pine tree. Let's give it a shot. Hey, it Mike, like Mikey, I'm trying the shit you brought me, buddy. It smells like Christmas. It smells like a fucking pine tree. That's all I'm going to say. It smells like pine saw. Okay. Mikey, I know you're watching, brother. I'm going to try it. I'm reviewing it on the air for you. Here you go, buddy. All right. All right. Ready? Are you ready, Dylan? Dylan, right. Dylan and I are going to review this. All right. One sip, and who gives a shit? Just a read toast. Thing. A toast to what? Pine saw? Christmas to trees. Pine saw. <laughs> Christmas trees and pine saw. Yeah. And to you, Mr. Malone. Oh, and to you, Mr. Malone. Cheers to you, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, told you. I haven't tasted it yet. This is not the best IPA I've had this week. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Let me try, let me try it's not the best IPA I've had this week either. Probably not the best IPA we've had this year. <laughs> it's better. It's 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 definitely very piney. <laughs> yeah. Mike, you told me this is good shit. I think you lied. Mm. 
Deb. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can we get Deb's view? <laughs> Take it out. Open the nose, didn't go. Oh, yes. Op- open your nose. No. Oh, yeah. Do it. No. <laughs> Deb, you don't like it. Oh, no. Hey, you know, we should do one of those. Guess which is which, pine salt or this beer? Yeah. I wonder if that would clean your floors pretty I'd good. I'd rather drink this. I'd rather, I would rather drink this, too. Yeah. Oh. All right. Eh, another sip. All right, let me give it a... I had to cleanse my palate there with the... Yeah, with the Miller Lite. Miller Lite. <laughs> Cleansing your palate with Miller Lite. Yeah, the cl- Yeah, I'll, let me show you guys. Now, now Chris is... Well, hey, Ritz. I wanted to show you, because you know how you say always... Beer always tastes like pine salt. Uh, microphone too. Now this is going to probably be in reverse. Yeah, uh, but here's what it says: familiar, fresh, and piney. Oh, I sent him a picture of it. Familiar, yeah. fresh, and piney. I sent him the picture of the yeah, can. Yeah, this yeah. is a pine salt. I, I text. Huh? This your cup that was right there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I sent him. I sent him a picture of the can. Okay, I'm gonna take um, one more sip of it just to give me it, so I can give it a score. Then you guys can go pour it outside, oh my maybe gosh. water the plants with it. Hey, and they might die. It with the, don't chase it with that. Cool. All right, well, let's go to Dylan Thompson for his score. Hold first. on, hold on. What, hold did, on. what did you guys rate Leffy at, like a 2.1 or 2.2? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like the comment Riz goes. He goes, they make a room smell pine salt fresh when you shut them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when you piss it through. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, Dylan Thompson for the score. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna take one more sip. Well, Dylan, let's Not get your score. Ooh. I'm gonna go uh, two point nine. Two point nine. Oh, yeah. Two point nine. You're, you're, if this was the only beer available, I would still drink it. Dylan, I'm gonna tell you what, I, and I can't. If it was the only here, beer here, available, I would drink it. Here, let me. But go. it's because because if I had to drink beer, well, it's green. Is it green? Pour some in a cup. Oh my god! Is it? Is it, it actually it fucking is green? Look. Oh, get get a goddamn glass. Get a I'll glass. Be back. Hold on. We we actually gotta rate this as being it's green. Can I get my score? You t- put your microphone. Talk talking on the microphone. Don't spill the green shit. It might clean the tables off. Considering that just wants makes me want to barf. I would have to give it a point nine. Point nine. Wow, I won't go. Ugh. I won't go that low, but I won't. I'd rather. I'd rather drink old duels than that shit. Bleh. <laughs> old duels. Old duels. Oh, Jimmy. And then I chased it with that. All right, here we go. Oh, we're Jimmy. gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna get the real visual here now. What's All this right, stuff really ready? look like? Ready. Oh, it's not that green. It's not that green. It looked greener. When it comes out, it. It looks kind of like. Well, yeah, it's the light hitting it. It does look like pine saw. Hey, hey, Chris, there, there's some pine saw. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Pine saw for you. Yeah. Mike, was this a sick joke? <laughs> was this a sick joke, Mike? Anyway, let me give you this. He never did like us. Yeah. <laughs> Bastard. Anyway, ty- now here's the thing, Dylan. I can't match your score, but I certainly won't higher, go higher because I was gonna. Th- I was actually thinking the same score. Right. Just because you went 2.9, I'm going 2.8. I All right. 0.9. Yeah, I, like I said, 2. if 8. this was the only beer around, I would never drink it. If it was the only beer around and I had to drink a beer, I wouldn't drink it. I would drink it. I would hate it, but I'd drink it. I wouldn't drink it. I'd rather go. I'd give up drinking if I was a co- choice. I would. Uh, I would I quit. Dr- I no. wouldn't go that far. It's not a good IPA, in my opinion. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's the thing with IPAs. Taste that. Taste this. Now that you have that. Well, she just put her tongue in it, so. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Well, this is apple pie, but. You're going to taste like a pineapple. It, it messes with the taste. A little bit. I like it. It's going to taste like a pineapple. Get it? Pine saw? Pine saw. Apple. Apple. Ooh, pineapple. Ooh. Funny joke. <laughs> but anyway, that is the beer review, and uh, we're not going to. What the freaking hell are you doing? Nothing. All right, so Dylan 2.9, Dub 0.9, and I went 2.8, so. All right, that's our beer reviews, and uh, we're gonna. Get <laughs> we're gonna. You're so funny, Deb. You're funny girl. We're gonna go to break. Are you listening to some kind of radio show on SKO? We're gonna go dump this beer. Radio network. We'll be back. We're gonna go dump the beer. We're gonna go dump the yeah. beer too.
welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. in a little bit. Julia Murray is going to join us. She's the author of the new diet book, Shit Yourself Thin. Have you seen the pictures of her? She <laughs> looks great. That woman Fabulous. has shit off so much weight. It's oh unbelievable. My God. Well, listen, first up, it's been a landmark week for women and science. That's right. After over 120 years of research, Cosmopolitan's officially cataloged every possible way a woman can please her man. Wow, that is quite amazing. Joining us now is Cosmopolitan's lead Moan Zone researcher, Dr. Rachel Steinberg. Dr. Steinberg, congratulations. Thanks, Tracy. We've accurately mapped every super hot sex zone on the male human body, empirically proven to make your man's legs turn to jello. Here's a peek into Cosmo's Man Pleasing Institute. We had to rigorously test every nerve ending for potential sizzle-inducing properties. Tell us about some of the early discoveries of the project. In the early 1920s, we discovered a previously unknown pleasure point located a little bit above the buttocks on the lower back. That was a huge find. Mm. In fact, it opened up over 200 completely new ways to give men pleasure. Unbelievable. It must feel great to know that your research is uh, helping so many people around the world as well. Well, Cosmos Research Center was founded to make sure that men everywhere get the most sexual pleasure humanly possible in their lifetime. And I think now that goal is finally attainable. That is Amazing. terrific, terrific news. Certainly, Dr. Steinberg, your work does not stop here. What is next? Maybe the, uh, the sensual pleasures of women or something like that. <laughs> no? No? Such a not getter. fertile ground, uh, to use a bad word? Okay. You are listening to the SKO Radio Network. So, you're saying that if I stay here and, and, and try to talk to Tuvok, I might be able to provoke some sort of response? If anyone can provoke Tuvok, Mr. Neelix, it's you. Good morning, Tuvok. I brought you a few more items from your corners to help liven up sick day. Your Kalto game? In case you decide you're ready for a match. Oh, and I also thought that you might enjoy a recitation of that classic proto-Vulcan drama, Clash on the Fireplanes. Uh, I'll be performing all 23 parts myself. Uh, I also brought you some flowers from Aeroponics Bay. Oh, that's fragrant, isn't it? Perhaps you'd enjoy some Vulcan incense. Now, how about some music? Uh, computer? Uh, access Vulcan audio file. Selection 56 Alpha. <laughs> Mr. Neelix, what is that dreadful noise? The chants of the monks of Tepanet. Personally, I think it's dreadful too, but it's one of Tupac's favorites. I appreciate your efforts, Mr. Neelix, but I'm trying to analyze his latest neurological scans, and this music is very distracting. You said I was supposed to stimulate his senses. I said stimulate them, Mr. Neelix, not annihilate them. Computer, cause music. Thank you. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. 
Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. We're back. Guess who? Hi, Dale. Are you there? Hey, you guys finally get to talk. Yeah, how about that? I'm Pat Morrow. I'm host of the uh, Radioactive Show here on uh, SKO Radio. Did you the know, SKO Radio did you Network. Notice on the on the show schedule, I put you guys in Radioactive Green. I saw that. That was really cool. I I took and uh, did you see the uh, Radioactive posts or the mm-hmm. the blog page? I did that. I found that online. And I thought, if I just separate those those two words a little bit, that'd look really cool. Mm-hmm. So that's what we did for the the post on the or the blog. But, uh, hello, Dale. How are you? All right. What are you gonna say for yourself? How much um, sleep have you had today? Um. Let's see. Three and a half hours. Oh, that much? Wow, you haven't had your eight. You don't get eight on on Saturday <laughs> or Friday. He's like to get three. <laughs> Pat, that was naughty. <laughs> Pat yeah. just caught on. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Is that kind of like Uranus? Uh-huh. Yeah. The, the, that's the an moon. Uranus examiner. <laughs> that's that's where they got that's where they got the uh, moonshine from. That moonshine is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, if you if you can just picture a nice Home cooked apple pie. The taste of that with a stick of cinnamon in it. That's what this moonshine tastes like. Uh, uh, Dale even got a jar. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's sitting right over there. Cool. Yep. You know where you're going to be late. Uh, you're not allowed to drink that till tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be. You got to work tonight? <laughs> no. No, but he's got to be do my show in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to have for fun. For our show. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm really going to be radioactive. Uh, what? More like apple active. Apple. But, uh, yeah, we uh, decided to sit in tonight just to have something to do, give Dale a little air time, uh, showing the different uh, aspects of, of uh, some kind of radio. But here's the thing. This is mild compared to what the first show Pat sit, sat in on. Oh, my God, yeah. That thing was so wild. I brought, I brought in a beer to review. We had uh, just all Bumble kinds. Bumble blueberry or whatever it was. Yeah, it was a bumbleberry. And uh, I, I don't remember exactly what all. Everything was kind of a blur that night. Yeah, because we also <laughs> had uh, the Oast of Throwback Thursday yeah. on. And it was a lot of fun that night. But, uh, yeah, we're here tonight just to uh, sit in, have a little fun with it, and uh, try to get Dale a little airtime. He's, he's shy when he's not. Airtime, where he's flying to. Huh? Hmm? I'm flapping, I'm flapping. Mm-hmm. Are you chicken man? Chicken man? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh. I'm still tired. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> now what can we uh what can we look forward to tomorrow on Radioactive? <clears throat> well, of course Chicken Man. We're gonna do uh the fourth segment of that. I love that series, that's why I keep running it. Yeah, I think we got some uh Bill Cosby. We got a little bit of Bill Cosby we're going to run just in honor of him going to prison. (laughs) (laughs) And a few other surprises. I got a couple of things that, uh, well, there was one I looked up uh, this afternoon that um, is an old um, Alan Sherman bit. I had a friend of mine, uh, you know him, you know uh, W4. That's it, we're taking over. W4G. Um, you know, you know Ray. Who? You know Ray, the W four or W D four G, whatever. W D forty what? No. I know you know him. He's the, <laughs> the blind guy that uh, um he has been a member of our club before. Oh yeah, I don't know his. I can't remember his call. I can't remember it either. Sorry, Ray, if you're listening. But uh, he sent me a uh, thing on, uh, there was an old Alan Sherman bit. The thing's going to be pretty cool. It's, uh, it's about three or four minutes long. It's another one of those things that hasn't been aired probably since about 
5.56, right in there. Um, of course, everybody knows Alan Sherman from Hello Mudda, Hello, Hello Fada, back in the 60s. And uh, at uh, just a preview of what we got, plus I'm going to do a radio review of a uh, uh, amateur radio uh, mobile that I, that I that I run all the time. What do you get for tomorrow? And I think we're going to have the uh, one for uh, called Sim Ham's call Apers, and it has nothing to do with monkeys. It's uh, automatic position <laughs> reporting. Apers. <laughs> Yeah, because Ken. You can, you can go apers over yeah, that. Ken, Ken Dorsey, he always called it ap apers. I heard a lot of other hams calling yeah. apers too, but it's. If uh, you're in the Akron area, you may be headed out to, uh, if you do any kind of live events like that. Um, the a, Akron Marathon is tomorrow morning, starting at five o'clock in the morning for some people. Yeah, yeah. there's a uh, there's a big race in uh, California. That's probably the uh, the biggest thing that uh, that the. Um, Amateur radio operators in Akron do. It takes about 40 or 45 people to run it. Yeah, the 26 mile. And it's 26 miles. It's a 26 mile race. There's actually three different courses there, and it uh, covers probably most of a morning. It starts at. About, I think the race steps off at seven in Arundel about noon. Yeah, like noon, noon two o'clock. And like of that. course, uh, the, the traffic gets tied up in a. You have to go in and around a course route, but that's, oh yeah, they close. Well, it's going. Downtown. Are you going to be able to get here in the morning? Well, down, now that I think about yeah, that, yeah, da downtown's going to be closed more than it usually is with all the construction. So, but. yeah, I just yeah, I just realized I might have to, uh, I might have to uh, take a very scenic route to get here like I did last time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah three hours late. We're just about to sign off and here, and he walks. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I got to see the uh, the uh, parts of uh, Akron I hadn't seen before for like thirty some years. Yeah, roll your windows up and lock the doors. No, I actually, uh, yeah, the uh, they were paving. Uh, um, oh, um, the valley. They were pa mm -hmm. paving the uh, road coming into the valley. Merriman. Merriman. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name. Yeah, and they closed it at Memorial, or just before Memorial. And the detour signs had you go into this neighborhood. Right North Hill. Yeah, and I never had <coughs> never been back there. That's my and, that's my neighborhood. Well, somebody had apparently knocked down the uh, the uh, detour sign, and I ended up in a section where it was nothing but um, cul-de-sacs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I ended up going down Memorial, down to Cuyahoga Street. And I was telling Deb, it's like, yeah, I came here by way of West Virginia. Mm -hmm. I was able to make sure my brake, brake lights worked, and I was still buckled in. Ow. Kyle August Street, is that thing still uh, <laughs> yeah. brick? Part of it is. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yep. that road. like I, come I haven't been down that road in probably 30 years, but I remember a whole bit, all that brick that was on there. Oh, yeah, because I have a stick shift. I went to downshift to take yeah. this one turn, and the car just started skipping down the road. I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you uh, tell us about tell the tell SK Radio the SK Radio <clears throat> listeners about oh, yourself for a minute, Deb? We're uh, taking over your show, by the way. No, he's being What? Fuck off, Earl. Hey, you know, go ahead, Pat. You shouldn't talk like that. You're on the radio, damn it. Yeah, really. Tell us about yourself, Dale. Tell us don't, about stuff. Don't pay no attention to don't pay no attention to them. About they myself. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm a, <laughs> let's see, I'm I'm like an Aries uh, in like retrograde and I like cold walks oh, on the God. beach. Oh. And, <laughs> you fit right in here. <laughs> Sad poems about other people. I, yeah. ro I rocked myself to sleep in the fetal position listening to the Depeche Mode. Listen to this, Dylan. Puppies that have been kicked one too many times. <laughs> Listen to this, Dylan. Listen. <laughs> You can join me in Studio B. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, can, yeah right. we, we can spoon in the fetal position and listen to There's the. There's a bed mode. back there. Oh, cool. It's just laying sideways right now. Oh, yeah. Well, we can we can make it work. And we can have a we can have a video. I can yes, my precious. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my precious. They, I, I, I'm the one owner to rule them all. <laughs> I don't I don't want to make my my new, my new buddy jealous though. <laughs> 
we're all laying. It's like it's, someone walks in and sees everybody back. Yeah, he can. We're all just laying here to keep each other warm. Yeah, the microphone can't make it. Well, we could. She's my buddy. We get in here last Saturday <laughs> afternoon, and Dale's in rare form because he had <laughs> kind of he came in here. Lost your show over him. <laughs> <laughs> he came in here by way of West Virginia, and he starts telling my wife how he wants to hump her leg. <laughs> Oh my God! Now, mind you, I've known this guy. I've known this guy since the the BBS craze in the sitting in the nineties. Hey Deb, I'll hump your leg. It's better than humping you for real. No, I I came in like you scratch. You know how you scratch a dog's uh, ear and he starts his leg starts. Um, uh huh. That's what Deb does. And I did that right next right next to her, and I put my arm around her and go, "You're my new buddy." And the look of fear on her face was I like. Asked Deb, you want to say that instead of me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, no. Deb, you need your ball scratch. Hey, Ricky, my bow shits. Deb, do your fucking job already. What you? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Deb. Come on, Deb. Just do your damn job, so I can get back into my chair. Now, is that like the... Uh, fire her. I'll fire you. Fire Deb, you're fired again. Uh, you're fired. <coughs> now, is that itch like like fiberglass, like itching, or is it more of like... I've never I asked... Don't even ask that. Ear, 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 yeah, Christ. He'll, he'll be back. He'll be back sometime in this show looking for his Girl Scout cookies and to do a top ten. You should ask him then. Should ask him then, all right? It's a pretty bad smell. Hey, you, a, you ask Hill Job. Hill Job? Hill Jack. Hill Jack Bob. Hill Bob. Job. That's, that's what he called. Oh, that's, uh, that's what he's doing. He's giving out Hill Jobs. Oh, right. <laughs> over at the golf course. I think. Has, has Why are you talking uh, to a damn microphone, Earl? No, no. The question is Has Hill Jack been to Uranus, Missouri? Uh, oh, he's God. been to Missouri. On the <laughs> if you guys want to hear that bit, I brought it with me. <laughs> yeah, he's been. It's right on there. Uh, Maybe later. <laughs> he's he's been to Missouri. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, uh, yeah one, he married her. One it's, of the funniest things I've heard in months. No chores tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pat, don't know about that. One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grits was nice enough to point out no chores today. <laughs> Thank God. I'll remember that, Ritz, when you were oh, in the moonshine. Uh, that's okay, because he, know, he knows that Earl will give it to him. <laughs> no, he won't. Just do your job and program the re, the, the uh, pre-recorded shows for What do you think week. I'm doing? Oh, okay. Why, why can't we do that later? Wow. Really? That's a nice way to talk. Really? I'm your, I'm your employer, and that's how you talk. Yeah, I, I don't work for you. Wait a minute. You don't pay me. I pay you. No, you don't. I pay you. Yeah, right. You, you, you with chores. You, you, with chores. And you get to eat, don't you? You get to eat and drink and eat some more. We do enough drinking for her. Yes. Hey, Deb. What? See, I'm your employer. See, I find you know, I, they, I find ways they, made, they made these things that we installed <laughs> specifically for situations like this. They're called microphones. Specifically for being on the radio. The, the, the idea behind them is uh, it, it's a novel concept. Right? Oh, yeah. You hey, ready? Hey, by these the are not Q-tips? Yeah. They're not? Dale. Damn. Damn. By the way, Deb, Ritz was defending you by saying that was directed at Earl for the abuse you're taking. He's trying to cover up because he wants more moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you know, they, they made these novel, novel pieces of equipment. The tip is so soft. What the hell, Pat? <laughs> the tip is so soft. Stick your tongue out a little bit and touch it. I told you he's an old dirty hound dog. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yes. Just damn right. <laughs> oh, get a little hair <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> These are not Q-tips. They're not Q-tips. No, they're uh, they're butt wipes. <laughs> yeah, then I wouldn't get your mouth too close to that one then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm glad you guys invited us. These things us. were white when we got them. They're black now. What the hell? Happened? Oh. Thanks, Deb. Well, I, at least I can tell you now. Rub it, rubbing your, your shimmy shimmy all over them. <laughs> Now all I can say is, oh, we, we need new microphones. Shimmy, shimmy, we need new microphones. Oh, she's mad. She's mad. 
She's mad. Somebody gonna get their ass kicked. Somebody gonna get the rig split. Man, that's Mark Henry. All I can say is my balls don't itch now. Oh, that's good. Hey, Rick. Well, that's because yeah. you just rubbed them all over the chair. <laughs> Please tell me. Oh, and that's Mike's chair. Uh, <laughs> well, Mike, we got. That's what all that staining is. Yeah, that's why. That's why the chair's all stained. Now we know the yeah. truth. Yeah. I know I, I know I can make the mic look better. Uh huh. I can make it look better. Yeah. Now I look like a. Per- Ooh, I sound better. I sound better. With this more Texas. But I sound better with But I it. sound, yeah, I sound a little louder. <laughs> yeah. Wow. See, oh. But we have to keep them on. Well, they see the Q-tip is for your protection. The Q-tip is so the government can't listen to us. Oh, okay, so we'd better put it back on then. It's yes. a condom. It's, it's a condom. It's, 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 it's I guess the pop filter does work. Pop, pop, pop. As opposed to... Yes, we need pop filters. This station is not experiencing technical difficulties. Testical what? Is it live or is it Memorex? Only her hairdresser knows for sure. Yeah, 1023 uh, at the midnight Rising yet? Star no. Studios. Oh, it's right. some kind of a radio show. You can call <laughs> us. 234 251 ten. 234 251 ten. Hey, uh, Riff said uh, he heard they have a fudge factory in Uranus. Yeah, and the president's going. I wonder who, who packs it there. Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's old. Well, the one uh, the one article I had said that they there was all <laughs> kinds of fun in or, in and around Uranus, <laughs> and uh, the, the the article was actually about the Uranus Examiner. <laughs> Deb, if you're gonna try and fucking participate, use the microphone. You are trying you are trying to participate, and you're not using the microphone. You're. <laughs> Hey, Deb. Uh, Take your shoes off because it smells like corn chips. Fritos! Yeah. This next half hour brought to you by Funyuns. It's what's in between my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I said my. <coughs> chill. You need to take like 12 chill pills and then call Earl in the morning. Funyuns. Uh, yeah. Funyuns. <laughs> dead air, dead air, dead air. You guys ever talk about Star Trek? Yeah, 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 did you? Yeah. I talked about my favorite stars. You are really close to my face. I don't like I don't like I don't like this attention. No. <laughs> Zoom in on Tony's face. No, I hope he'll break the camera. Oh no, he won't. He's beautiful. I'll, I'll change the view. I'll change the angle. Oh thanks. Thanks. You gonna get more people? Ah, uh, it's a different angle. <coughs> Earl, uh, he went around there so we could that angle is not flattering. Yeah. That angle is not flattering <laughs> for you. It's like I'm not bald. When do you do? When do you do, Earl? What? When do you do? When do I do? When do you do? Tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a good look for me now. Do baby shark. Do 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 do. Oh, God, I've heard that song so much <laughs> last week. I'm not ready. I know, you know, a good one. There's actually a parody of that. Hey, 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 microphones. There's actually a parody of that angry shirt called Angry Wife. Da, 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 angry Wife. Da, 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 <laughs> pissed Off Wife. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll, I'll, I should do that. Separate. Do, 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 separate. <laughs> What's that look for? What was that look for? I think I'm in trouble. Dead air. Dead air. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. (laughs) I'm really good at this. I'm really good at this. 
the chair, don't you? Yeah. No. Yeah. You guys need your fearless leader back in the chair. Yeah, you, you got a lot of fears. Sharks, snakes, spiders, yeah. heights. Yeah. Clowns. That, that weird guy that keeps asking you to fight. Uh, <coughs> Kino, yeah, Kino, beer. Here's what I'll do since Browns reports. On computer, I'll just do this. How's this? Ah. Uh, oh, hey, I can hear now. Oh, hey, you can hear now. Oh, hey, Hello. I'm on the air. You're back. Hello. Guess who's back? Back again. I am back. Tell a friend. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Girl's back. Huh? What? Hey, Pat. Huh? What? Earl's back. <coughs> oh, cool. Who? Dale. Who? The who are back. You know what the funny part is? The minute I got back on the air, we went up, we went up listeners. Yay. Yeah, that's amazing. I don't know what the hell happens. You, you, Can we take a break? It's close enough. You know, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Yeah, I got to pee. <laughs> Pat's got to pee. Pat's got to pee. <laughs> we're All not right. going to take. We're not going to take video with Pat peeing. Thank no. God. No. Why don't we end our video? Yeah, we'll end our video too. All right, you're listening to some kind of radio show here on SKO Radio Network. We'll be right back. You can call in two three four two hundred fifty one ten. Guilt, isolation, all feelings brought on by involuntary flatulence. But why? It's not my fault that I fought. My short flat nose makes me take in more air, that's all. And that means... Jasper! Oops! So please, don't be mad. I can't help it. Just like I can't help being wicked cute. Hey parents, tired of those out of control kids throwing embarrassing tantrums wherever they go? At the grocery store, on the playground, even at the dinner table. You've had it with parenting, but wait, there is a solution. Introducing nap time, the latest, most effective tool for child tantrum prevention. It's simple. Just douse a rag with our patented sleepy time formula, place it over your child's cry hole, press and hold gently for 8 to 12 seconds, and presto, no more tantrum. I was beginning to think adoption was the only way out. Then a friend of mine introduced me to nap time. It's never been so quiet around here. The secret lies in NapTime's revolutionary fast asleep formula. Developed by military trained scientist doctors from NASA, NapTime's powerful molecules rush to the child's brain on contact, gently inducing instant tranquility. This is chloroform. Already put those wallet draining crap factories out on the street? That's okay! NapTime works in any situation. On the golf course. An awkward blind date. I had a really good time tonight. It even works on pets. After we had our first child here, we regretted it almost immediately. We didn't know that she'd cry so much. <laughs> Talk about defective. But thanks to nap time, our little Samantha here hasn't made a noise in weeks. <laughs> I keep her in a shoebox. Call now and we'll send you your very own 24-ounce bottle of nap time solution for only 23 easy payments of $1.99. But wait, there's more. Act quickly and you'll also receive the all-new Dream Sack absolutely free. It's compact and portable for those on-the-go tantrums. Just cover it, tighten it, and forget about it. It's that simple. We can't breathe good. So if this looks familiar... I feel pregnant. <laughs> then don't wait. Order today and join the millions of Americans who just can't stop saying. Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Nap time. This is Hugh Jack Bob, and you're listening to the new Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Now with 100% more itchy bows.
I speak for the Borg. I'm Captain Janeway. This is Lieutenant Tuvok. We are aware of your designations. What's your designation? Seven of nine, tertiary adjunct of Unimatrix zero one. But you may call me Seven of Nine. You are proposing a large scale weapon. We concur. I thought you might. We could encase the nanoprobes in some of our photon torpedoes. In essence, turn them into biomolecular warheads. Your torpedoes are inadequate. They lack the necessary range and dispersive force. Do you have a better idea? We are Borg. I take that as a yes. A multi-kinetic neutronic mine. Five million isoton yield. An explosion that size could affect an entire star system. Correct. The shockwave will disperse the nanoprobes over a radius of five light years. That's somewhat larger than I had in mind. You're proposing a weapon of mass destruction. We are. Well, I'm not. You'd be endangering innocent worlds. It would be efficient. We would need approximately 50 trillion nanoprobes to arm this mine. It would take the doctor several weeks to replicate that amount. You are losing this conflict. Are you willing to risk further delay? Right now, your enemy believes it is invulnerable. If we create smaller weapons using our torpedoes and destroy a few of their bioships, it may deter them, convince them to give up this war. You are individuals. You are small and you think in small terms. But the present situation requires that we consider your plan. Voyager's weapons inventory. Photon torpedo complement 32, class 6 warhead. Explosive yield 200 isotons. How did you obtain this information? We are Borg. Naturally. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. I got a, we got a new theme. There's a new theme for Deb. Angry wife, do 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 do. Angry wife, do 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 do. Angry wife, do 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 do. Angry wife, pissed off wife, do 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 do. Pissed off wife. That that's Dub's new theme. We should share it. We should share it. Cause you know why we should share that. Because. Hold on, man. I gotta share this. Because I have to share it. It's good. I'm gonna share it on my personal page. Yep, this 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 works so well. Go to Earl McCune on Facebook and you'll see it. <laughs> okay, we're on the air. All right, uh, give us a call if you'd like to join the program. Two three four two hundred fifty one. Yeah, ten. please, somebody call. <coughs> Anybody. Anybody. Anybody, anywhere. Come on. Join the fun. Join the fun. That's cute. Yeah, it's, that's too adorable. Anyway, we are back. Tonight's just been one of them, like, distraction nights. It's one of them weird nights. You know, it hasn't been like a... It's just been a weird night. You know, it's been fun. It's just been a weird night. That's because we're here. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like my hair's falling. It's radioactive type of stuff, you know. Yeah, that's that's right. what's going on. Yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, well, Earl McHugh along with the Debster from the Dumpster. Ow! <laughs> Dylan Thompson, Tony the Comedy Killer, Pat and Dale from Radioactive. Yeah, Radioactive. That's, why are you, you having such a hard time with that? Because I keep trying to say Ham Radio Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's gonna it's take a me. It's radioactive hams. It's a. Actually, if you think about it, it's it's the truth. Now uh, I'll open the microphone here so everybody can hear. Because we're both into radio. Yeah, you're all kinds of radio, and we're both pretty active people. Yeah, there you go. Radioactive. Yeah, that works. Yeah. That's now, he was actually the one that came up with the uh, with the term for it. <coughs> with the name of with the name. Did you miss a call? No. Oh yeah, yeah. Night, you. Night, night wonder something is no. you know with it being the Jewish holiday season. Wait, we're going to do what's, a, a week you of call. astronomy radio. I didn't call. No, oh, I don't. Oh, Hilljack. Hilljack texts us. Do you have my Girl Scout cookies yet? <laughs> and it's not. Here's how he spelled it. Do you have mine? Have my is one word. G. Little G, little I, capital R, L, small S, and Cout. And C O U T with a capital C. Cookie spelled K O O C E E S. Nud is texting. What? It is texting? Uh, Hilljack must want his Girl Scout cookies. He, is, is Hilljack coming in? He might be here soon. Does he realize they're not made out of real Girl Scouts? He doesn't. He just wants the Thin Mints. Well, he was telling me how he ate the brownie the one time. And I said, "Dude, <laughs> don't tell me about that kind of stuff, man." He, he wants Thin Mints. He, uh, he wants Thin Mints, not not big fat ones like Frida. Ow! Oh, shit! What are you hit me for? You're not Frida. Frida's four hundred ninety pounds or something like that. You're not four ninety. I'm like 370, but no. <laughs> just kidding. Joke, Deb. It's a joke. Uh, you are squishy, though. I'm going to leave now. Squishy. Don't know. Because there's electronic equipment here. Do not spit water at me. Thank you. Squishy. You're squishy. Squishy. Uh, your, hand, your arms are like rough like sandpaper. I need some, I need some sanding done. Can you, can you come sand some stuff, floors for me with your arms? Hilljack will be around soon. <laughs> I have it on good authority. You have it on good authority? Why, did he text you too? Yeah, he did. Oh, it's some bitch is coming back. Oh, but he, back but he sent me a weird I picture. Know, where the hell's my clothespin? I need to close my nose up. <laughs> he sent me a weird balls, picture. Balls. No, it wasn't of his shit or his balls. It was a picture of him real close up. Just his beard. That's the only boy I know you can actually hear his balls itch. Well, uh, someone's got to scratch them. All you hear is when he scratches like this. Uh, That's the sound you hear when he scratches his balls. Oh, God. I think it's just, uh, <laughs> can you imagine that sound? Yeah. It's creating them visual pictures in my mind. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, that's not a visual picture there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. On that note... <laughs> Give us a call, 234-251-10. We'd yeah, love to hear from you. Just call me, Pappy. That's, all. That's a good name. We would love to hear from you. I've been called asshole before. But <laughs> <side point. laughs> hey, where's my hey, team asshole. music, there? Where the hell are you? Where's my team music, there, Earl? We don't have any for you. I, I, I asked you to give me some last time I was here. I'm surprised you all haven't uh, run away yet from this matter. Do 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 Plug your nose doop do 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 Plug your nose doop do 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 My balls itch do 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 There you go My balls itch do 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 My balls itch Little Jack Bob's back everybody I reckon do 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 <laughs> so you know a top ten tonight, uh, Jack? I, I reckon I could do a top ten. Uh, do y'all want to hear my top ten? No, but I, I didn't. Uh, Dale have a question for Hill Jack? I have a question for uh, the old uh, Hilly Jack. There, that's me. I reckon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my name's. Uh, was one uh, the, it's Hill Jack. <laughs> was one of the brownies named Candy Sprinkles? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? What do you know, dude? <laughs> hey, who, wow. are you? Well, that was a good question. I, that's better than I was going to ever ask. That was a good question. And does she candy has... really sprinkle? <laughs> is she a squirter or is she <laughs> sprinkle? No, no but who yeah. knows? Just give me a sprinkle a day. You know, you, you ever heard that old commercial says a sprinkle a day takes odor away? A sprinkle a day uh, it makes your mouth itch. <laughs> Especially if it's with different women. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
I think many, that's where the itch came from. <laughs> Hill Jack, let me ask you a question. What? How many? What's the most women you've been with in one day? Uh, well, if you, if you count my wife as uh, as twenty people, then zero. <laughs> zero. Huh? Zero. So, yeah. you, so you count your wife as twenty people, and I've never been with her. <laughs> you've never been with your wife, but you have children with this woman. I reckon. You reckon? I reckon. So what do you do? Do you airmail your sperm sample in? Ain't you ever heard of the Immaculate Conception? (laughs) (laughs) There's nothing immaculate about that. (laughs) No, it's 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 the inaccurate conception. (laughs) Inaccurate conception. Inaccurate conception? Uh, Yeah, you know, I I, I tried the mission, (laughs) and I ended up hitting anyways. (laughs) So I mean, so I was going to ask you, so did you have to, like, use the flower and... Find the wet spot, or you just went in head first and just said, fuck uh, it, I'm going in. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, when you lift that many folds, yeah, you think you're in it. You think you're in it, but. <laughs> Dev's De- De- about choking here. You know, <laughs> you, you, go, you go through one layer, and then you gotta go through another, and <laughs> all of a sudden you're starting to see stalactites and stalagmites, and you're wondering, you know, uh, Hey, what, what's going on in here? Tough's face is priceless. Then, <laughs> priceless. Then, then you see Cousin Jimmy in there running moonshine, and you know that you're in a cave. Then they have to be like Baywatch. And, and, that, and, that's when, and that's when you realize that you got to keep that bitch around. <laughs> She's good for transporting moonshine. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, poor Deb. Oh, poor <laughs> Deb. <laughs> you put a map of the... You know, the Smothers <laughs> Brothers actually did a song that was uh, oh my god called I'd Let the Rest of the World Go By. <laughs> did you ever hear that one? Uh, um, she doesn't like me. That was probably about uh, 64, 65 they come out with that. It was one of their comedy bits about this woman that they went to a costume party. And uh, this woman came dressed as the world, and uh, her, if I remember, her legs were Pakistan, and on her knees were Greece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to find that one for tomorrow. Oh, my God. There's another one that the smell Hey, you. hey uh, Pat, huh? I just wonder how many uh, frequent flyer miles she had around that globe. <laughs> you gotta wonder, you got to oh. wonder if these were the Andes or... Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> You have to look up the Smothers Brothers and Peanuts. The Smothers Brothers and Peanuts. Yeah, it's from a movie that I've never seen, but there's a clip on there that, that yeah, this weird, this Tommy. French guy is asking well, Tommy that. Smothers, and he says, uh, "Excuse me," he says, "Do you want my peanuts?" Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> yes. And he goes over and he's trying to offer his peanuts, yes. and everyone thinks he's offering his penis. <laughs> yes, I've seen that. I've seen that clip. Yes. I know what you're talking about. And he keeps saying, oh, do you like my penis? Do you like my penis? No. Everyone's looking like, what the fuck? There's a couple of little uh, trivia things about the Smothers Brothers that you wouldn't think when you watch them, you wouldn't think it was this way, but uh, uh, Tommy was actually the smartest one of two of those. And he was a real activist back in the 60s. He uh, was into uh, women's rights. He was into uh, a bunch of other stuff that, you know, the peace movements and stuff like that. And he, was, he was a quite interesting character. And, uh, you know, Dick always played the smart guy, the smart man part of it. And he, Tommy always played the dummy. But Tommy was actually a very smart smart man for his age. It kind of reminds me of uh, what I read about uh, Penn and Teller. You know, the one thing I can tell you about Teller that I witnessed myself... Them. That man is French. Yeah, He's so French that you can't understand him most of the time. I actually stood and talked to him <coughs> for five minutes in the real theater one one afternoon. Did, uh, we was, went, was your much talking, or did we he just try and address you with his, <laughs> with his age? Yeah. You know them French? No, it didn't happen that way. Yeah, but, he took I you back to your up, hotel first. <laughs> the, way it went on, the way this went on, we went to see their, uh, their act in Rio. And they got done, they walked up through the mezzanine to go out and talk to the people, yeah, um, Penn, and, Penn and him both. Well, Penn Gillette was, he stands about seven foot tall. Yeah, he's big. He's guy. a tall dude. Yeah. He and he, a lot of weight, too. He was uh, down the way a little bit, 
And there was nobody standing around teller time. You know, <coughs> I guess they thought he wasn't going to talk. And uh, so I walked up. I had a, uh, a piece of paper and a pencil in my hand. And I walked up and I said, this is at this time they were doing it, uh, Penn and Tiller's bullshit on, uh, on Showtime. And I walked up and I said, hey, Teller, I said, I'm one of your biggest uh, fans from Ohio of the uh, BS, uh, the BS show. He said, oh, are you really? And he starts talking to me. The thickest French accent you ever heard. Oh, are you ready? <laughs> and uh, I'm telling you, that's, that was, that surprised the living hell out of me, actually, because I never expected it. But the man's so, fr and I think he's afraid to talk on stage because of the fact that he's French like that. Nobody can understand. You know, he has problems projecting it. My little trivia. Hmm. I reckon. Well, his last name is Gillette. <laughs> no, this is Teller. Oh. I don't know what his first name is. Oh. But it's Penn Gillette. Yeah. Penn, yeah. Yeah, well, <clears throat> Teller, yeah. Well, I forget what the hell Teller, yeah. What? Anyway, Hilljack, what the yeah, hell? Bank ten, teller. You're going to do a 10-top ten, ten what? I'm going to do a top 10. Um, I'm going to do my own beer review tonight. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, you're good. It's my top ten uh, favorite beers. Oh, Christ. This could, this could take for... What time is it? Uh, well, I think we got about, what, an hour and ten minutes left? I showed you about Eastern time. time, anyway. Uh, we have an hour and ten minutes left either way, uh, so... Well, tell, Teller is actually... His, real, his full name is Raymond Joseph Teller. Really? You'd yeah. never... You'd never Guess that from that then. Right. She calls me Raymond. You I reckon my boss is. You can call me Ray, or you can call me RJ, or you can call me RJJ. <coughs> uh, I reckon one. they call Dylan RJ. Oh, God. <laughs> He's got a pencil team mustache. But you mustache. don't have to call me Johnson. Uh, he wishes he had a pencil team mustache. Uh, did I tell you I'm going to be releasing an album soon? Oh, God, you yes. You know you have to get together on a duo. Yeah, I, 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 I'm releasing an album. <coughs> I can just hear that. Christmas, do, Christmas yeah, album. Yeah, it's going to be a Christmas album, and then I'm going to release just a regular album, too. So, uh, Is it death metal? No, it, it's Christmas music. Christmas death metal. It might metal. as well be just death metal. Christmas music. You know, He's uh, doing Christmas music. Yeah, jingle bows, jingle bows, I reckon they itch. <laughs> I, I was just a, uh, I was a, a teaser. Roasty the snowman had a really hairy what I don't know hairy balls. He came upon <laughs> some itchy <laughs> balls. <laughs> that, that, that would be that be for you. <laughs> All right, so you ready? Yeah. I, I'm gonna do my top ten. Let's yep. go. It's my favorite beers. Hilljack's favorite beers. That's right. All right. Top ten favorite beers of Hilljack. Okay. Uh, hold on. I got to make sure I got my <coughs> list in order. All right. Get your list in order. There's one, two, uh, three. Got a rack of balls. That's four. I'm four. surprised you can count to ten. Uh, five, uh, six, seven. Seven. Yeah, you can count that high. I'm amazed. Eight. Yeah, uh, Nine. Come on. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Uh, Don't stop uh, now. Uh, <laughs> I reckon I got ten. Oh, Very nice. All right, so uh, top ten uh, on the uh, top ten list of my favorite beers. Okay. Bud Ice. Bud Ice is near number ten. Bud Ice is number ten. Why? Well, I reckon yeah, it's, <coughs> it's the shit that gets you drunk, you know, for real cheap. Okay. You, you know all about that, right? Sure. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, number nine on the top ten uh, list of uh, my favorite beers. I reckon uh, Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. That's I wouldn't even list Bud Light nine. in your. How do you list Bud Light in your top ten? Yeah, uh, I reckon when when it's available, it's a delicacy. A delicacy. It's a delicacy where I come from. Uh, you know, this is like gold. <laughs> delicacy. Yeah, this is liquid. Bud gold. Light's a delicacy in Hill Jack's mind. Uh, uh, number nine. Okay. Number eight, sorry. I, mean, I, I had a couple of, uh, I had a Bud Ice and a Bud Light before I came. Oh. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm you, working out. You it. came, and then you put your pants back on, then. Yeah. <laughs> right, number eight. 
So, so did you have the Bud Light and the Bud in your hand while you were you were getting stroked or stroking, or then you came? <laughs> yeah, I reckon sometimes you just gotta think about it hard enough and you're happy. <laughs> uh, number eight. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Keystone Light. Keystone Light. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's a good beer. Uh, 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 you don't mess with Keystone Light. Based on this list, Hilljack, I know what number one is. I reckon you don't. Yeah, I do. You're filtered piss. Oh, uh, that's not it. That's number seven. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hurry up and get out of my studio. <laughs> well, well, damn, that was not very nice. She's, uh, she's house too late. <coughs> you know he's under contract. Yeah, right. yeah number seven. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee's best. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, like Milwaukee's worst, but go ahead. Uh, that's the best thing that came out of Wisconsin. Uh, 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 literally, uh, you know, uh, best thing that came out of Wisconsin, you know, uh, Milwaukee, you know, uh, it's pretty much the whole state, though. Oh, Jesus. How about Schlitz? Uh, yeah. No, I, I reckon, you I reckon Schlitz and Blatz not. on there, too? Yeah, Blatz. Right. What am I on now? Number six? Five. five. Uh, number five. Six or five. Uh, uh, we'll say number five, I guess. All right. Number five. Okay. Yeah, Michelob Ultra. <laughs> Michelob Ultra. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't that be a delicacy where you come from? Uh, no, because, you know, Miller Night, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the king of beers. Oh, Jesus. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> if you say so. I don't think they call themselves that, but. <laughs> Number four. Zima. Um, no, I, I like that stuff, uh, but not, uh, not in the top ten. Zima's Zima good. With a jolly uh, not in the top ten. Mm-hmm. Number four. We're all ears. Go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, we're waiting on you. Yeah, I reckon it's uh, Miller High Life. Miller High Life. Oh, God. It's just getting worse. It's getting worse. The, 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 the higher on the list he's getting, the worse they're getting. Uh, number three. Uh-huh. Schlieman and Clear. What? It's a good beer right there, I tell you what. What are you having? Uh, Schlieman and Clear. Never heard of it. Uh, it's because it's that good a beer, you know. You, you, you just, obviously, you're just not rolling in it like I am. Schlieman <laughs> and Clear. Okay. Talking about what are you Schlieman and Clear. Okay. Seam and clear. What? Clear. Clear. Seaman's clear. usually white, uh, milky uh, stuff. What, what do we own next? White. What do we own next? Two. 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 Yeah. Uh, <laughs> number two. Uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that stuff. It's getting worse. Uh, I love drinking that when I watch uh, NASCAR. Oh, okay. And uh, my my favorite <laughs> beer. My my favorite beer is uh, Natty Ice. Nice. I think he's just talking now, about the cans that can he uses I, uh, as a pillow. Can I, uh, can I order my Girl Scout cookies no, now? The hell no, Girl Scout's here. <laughs> I, I, I thought that's what Tony was. <laughs> no, Tony's yeah. not a Girl Scout. But that's what his uniform looks like. You know, that was 21 years ago, and... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I'll take uh, two boxes of Tim Mints, uh, <laughs> some snickerdoodles. Uh, what, what are those little ones with the coconuts? What's that code? Oh, um, Samoas. I'll uh, take, uh, take three. Holy uh, shit. I'll take a Roman Range, I'll take hey, a Rock, and. Mm-hmm. I'll take a Roman Range, a Rock, and uh, <laughs> two Ushos. What's the score? 11 to 1. Want some tag alongs? Uh, I, I'll take some tag alongs, too. You know, you're going to have a little bit of peanut butter and chocolate. Oh you need God. to PB with the PBR. That's right. She do. It's a <laughs> See, show. PBR with some PB and J. Yeah, huh? That's right. And uh, she, what else should I take? Uh, oh, I'll take those new, uh, those, those vegan cookies just so I can throw them out. Vegan cookies yeah. so I can throw them out. So, uh, all right. I reckon. No, those that are. That, in no, that's all right. You know, Shut I, up. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll just stop everything I'm doing. I was getting ready to go, but now I'm going to stay. No, I, no I was are, getting ready to go. Shut now up, I'm going to stay. Jack. We go to break in four minutes. We go to, we go to break in four minutes. Uh, Those of you uh, that Deb, are... got to interrupt Hugh Jack, though. She's got to interrupt Hugh Jack, and she's got to take yeah, everything over. I am. Those that are she Indian fans, they are spanking the Kansas City Royals. They scored one run in the third, and they scored ten in the seventh. It's the top of the ninth. 11 to 1 Cleveland. I don't think they're going to work out from that. No. No. 
Chef. Well, Indians score 10 and 1 in and not enough. <coughs> no. All right. no, I reckon I guess I'll leave now. No, she, obviously, Deb doesn't want me here. Stay, you, stay, you stay through the break. No, she doesn't break. want me here. I, she interrupted me. Deb's a general manager. She, right? she hurt my feelings. I'm an owner. She's a general uh, manager. She hurt my feelings. Deb, you hurt Hilljack's feelings. I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, that him. hurt my feelings again. You know, and you even offered him food earlier. Yeah, you offered me food, and then you hurt my feelings like that. That's not fair. Deb. That's not right. Are you a little bit cranky? Hey, you look like it. Why you, what's the matter? You now? got the same look that Frida's got on her face when she's cranky. And she's always cranky. They look a lot alike. Yeah, I don't see it. Uh, uh, I, I really don't see it. They both. I think they both have kind of she's things going. Uh, uh, cranial rectitis? That too. Uh, hey, can we record some of my songs? Sure. When do you want to do that? When do you want to do that? Right now. Not right now. Here's one for Tony. Final uh, today. Uh, that's right. Atlanta Braves. Ten. Phillies, two. Yep. Uh, that's all right. Yes, one of the year. Okay. And you know, I, the I, I was talking to Earl, and she yeah. interrupted. Again. She interrupted. And yeah. unlike the it's Indians, we rude. didn't win our division and be and be the fifth best team in our league. Uh, had the two yeah, wild card teams that had better records than us. That's very rude. Uh, well, no, but the Indians won their division, but they're... But they only had the fifth best record in the league. Hey, you know, it's really easy to win a division when all the other teams are uh, under 500. Yeah. yeah, but this is their third year in a row. So oh, yeah. eat that, Brave. Yeah. yeah, it's easy to win. Like like Hill Jack said, it's easy to win your division when you when the other four teams are total shit. They're, they're, not even they're, showing they're up. under yeah. 500. Yeah. They're not and even they're, showing up to play. Yeah, the Browns can't use yeah, their excuse. Hey, hey, the Browns are tied for second. The only place the Browns are going is the toilet bowl. So shut up, Hilljack. But let me let me let me explain something to you real quick. Uh, your the, Patri- Browns, the Patriots got smacked. The Cleveland Browns have a better record than the New England Patriots. That's true. <laughs> and they're tied with Pittsburgh. And they're tied with Pittsburgh. That's true. So guess what? And guess what? After Sunday, we're gonna be two one and one. Hey, guess what? Uh, no, you're hey, Dub. Be one and two. No. Let me tell you something. And one. You got to get the one. And one in there. That one does not count. It wasn't a win, wasn't a loss. It still counts as no, a and one. It does not. All right, you tell it that to the count Packers. for shit. Tell that to the Packers, then. When you have a team that lost 16 straight When you row, keep losing I, language that's like a, that. That's a moral man. victory. you got to find yourself out of the job. <laughs> hey, Dell, let me tell you something. Can I be the new general manager? Hey, Rick. Um, no. Hey, who's Jack Bob, general manager? I like the shame to that. Absolutely. Hill Jack Bob is your new general manager. Uh, no, they're not. Let them argue. We'll go to break. Yeah, Hill Jack Bob. Oh, wait a minute. We have a call. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Let me answer. Let me do it. All right, we have a call. Let me do it. We have a call. I have no idea. Uh, hello, you're on the radio with, uh, with Hill Jack Bob. Uh, how can I help you? Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Uh, hello, I reckon, I reckon my bow is. I know who that voice is. It's, it's Captain Zulu. <laughs> It's Captain Shulu. Hello, Mr. Shulu. How are you? No, that's how you do it. Ooh, it's... Very special happy birthday. Yeah, we, we, we have to say happy birthday to uh, the, the Airwolf Adams little girl. Yep, his she's, sweet baby girl. She's one years old today, and uh, I reckon uh, I reckon she's going to be a great hilljack. You're doing a great job. Oh, there. my God, a great hilljack. You're doing a great job. <laughs> you, you, you can send her to, uh, to the... Hilljack school for ungifted children. No, keep her away from Hilljack. She, he likes to eat Girl Scouts. No, yeah, I, 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 I not brownies. 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 That was not <laughs> <laughs> hey, Now, now I, I, I will say this: you can send her to Hilljack school for ungifted children, and uh, <laughs> you know, in, in six years she will be a, a, a leech on society, just like me. Hilljack, get the hell out of my studio. I'm staying. I'm staying now. Adam was talking when you, yeah, you interrupted Adam. You interrupted Adam. Adam. Well, well, you can't well, hear whose phone is on. That's not my fault. See? Hey, Adam, say what you were saying again and again. Oh, if I let her go to that school, Hilljack, uh, in, uh, in about a few years, she'll have the education of a six month. Hey, I I resemble that. I I have uh, I have the education of a four year old, and uh, you know I I worked twelve years on that one. Took Spanish one for four years. 
four years too. No, I reckon I was in Spanish <coughs> negative too. <coughs> oh my! Oh was my! Spanish girl for four years. Oh my! He was in. Whoa! I I was in. I plead the fifth. Was that your third or fourth wife or something? No, I plead the fifth. You plead the fifth. I, I'm gonna go hide back in Friedrich's uh, Friedrich cave. I gotta go climb to some folks. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody. All right, good night, and uh, we're going to go to break before I leave. Adam, Adam, Adam. Adam, you're going to stay around. Uh, Dylan wants to talk to you about some important information uh, regarding regarding Hughes at Bob. So uh, I reckon my Bob is it. You're listening to some kind of radio show on uh, on SKO Radio Network at some kind of radio network. Thank you, Earl, for naming it that, and uh, we'll be back. We'll be right back. And I reckon my bow shits. Good night. Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. Kids at Home, this next segment is for you. This Friday, the newest batch of Disney Channel stars grown in the Disney Genetic Engineering Lab will be unveiled to the public. Right. Now, Tracy, most of our viewers are already familiar with a lot of the products that have come out of the Disney I know Lab. I am. Yes. But how exactly do you create a Hillary Duff or a Miley Cyrus from scratch? Right. Well, we're going to find out exactly how it's done right now because joining us live from the Disney Lab is uh, one of their lead geneticists, Dr. Andrew Rourke. Welcome, Dr. Rourke. There's quite an operation you've got going on out well, there. Well, thanks, Jim. So the stars that we see on TV are actually grown right here? Uh, that's correct. They're, they're grown and uh, developed here. We engineer their brains for advanced singing and dancing capabilities, even posing for photos. By the time they grow to desired size, uh, these child stars are fully ready for the camera or the, the concert uh, tours or whatever Disney chooses to put them in. That is simply amazing. <laughs> now, how long does it take to actually create a star from scratch? Well, not very long at all. We use the exact same DNA structure for all of our stars, and then we simply tweak minor details like uh, hair color or skin tone. Right, yeah, we do have some footage here of some of the uh, well-known creations that have come out of your lab. Let's take a look. Yes, well, that's model 6831-A, publicly known as Mitchell Musso, standard male base with oh, a type wow. 3 skin pigmentation. Wow. And that's model 6831-B. We give them slightly thicker eyebrows and type 5 skin. Well, so yeah. it's sort of like putting a puzzle together there. Exactly, exactly. Oh, amazing. Okay, here we've got some of the images of some of the newest models. We're going to be seeing a lot of these kids it in the future. It really looks like you have someone for every kid in America right. to love well, that's here. that's the idea, Tracy. Our writers find it very liberating. Uh, for example, our new model, Haley, is a singing, dancing, snowboarding, half Japanese, half Indian wow. girl. Wow. Now, finding her in reality would be impossible. Right, but sounds like a surefire hit to me. Oh, now this one's Zach Efron. I've seen him before. Wow. Yes, uh, Zach was actually one of our earliest models. My daughters love him. I mean, he looks so real. Actually, I think we could have done a better job with Zach. He could show more human tendencies. Uh, if, if you look closely, you'll notice there's a certain deadness around the eyes. I do see that, yeah. yes. I, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to watch because all I see is uh, all my mistakes. Well, yeah. oh, he seems flawless to me. Well, he's holding up, but there was a bug in that first batch, and as a result, Zach's skin will soon begin to dissolve. No, poor Zach Efron. All right, well, it's simply amazing. Dr. Rourke, thank you so much for coming in and spending some of your morning with us. I can't wait to see some of these Absolutely. new creations <laughs> popping out of the lab. <laughs> You are listening to the SKO Radio Network. Tuvok. I need your advice. Up first. Look, I realize we're not exactly best friends. From day one, we've kept each other at arm's length. But I've always respected your judgment. And right now, I could use a little Vulcan clarity. Proceed. It's the captain. As you may have noticed, she's isolated herself from the crew. She believes that she made an error in judgment four years ago. 
that she's responsible for stranding Voyager in the Delta Quadrant. She told you? No. I've been observing her behavior for the past four years. Guilt has been her constant companion. You've known her longer than anyone. Have you ever seen her like this? Only once. It was during her first year as a commander on the USS Billings. She sent an away team to survey a volcanic moon. Their shuttle was damaged by a magma eruption, and three crew members were severely injured. The next day, she returned to the moon alone to complete the survey. She wanted the crew to know that their suffering had not been in vain. She could have been killed. Seeking redemption. Precisely. Captain Janeway's methods are unorthodox. It is her strength as a leader. But unfortunately, it is also her greatest weakness. Stubborn as a Klingon. To put it mildly. If she tries something like that again, I want to be ready. And I'm going to need your support. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. All right, we're crazy. It's 1108. We're still here. And uh, welcome back to the program. We have the uh, full studio of myself, Depp from the Dumpster, Hilljack Bob's a companion. <laughs> no, he left. <laughs> oh, he left? Oh, but his, his ambiance is still here. Takes a while to leave the you room. You mean his stank? His stank. Tony's outside getting away from... I think Tony... Did Tony go escort him out? I think that's what Forcefully. He Forcefully, yeah. He's Ubering him home. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Pat and Dale from Radioactive oh, with us. Perfect. And yeah, he might be servicing, who knows? And uh, Airwolf Adams with us via the telephone tonight. That's right. That's right. So, uh, anyway, next, uh, going into next month, uh, I do want to make, now, we don't have a clip for next month because we haven't picked our movies yet, but uh, October is going to be the entire month of uh, Halloween themed movies. You know, it's going to be really scary. Hmm. I don't think I'll be here the first two weeks. Yeah. That's what's going to make the show really scary. Oh, definitely the second week. Yeah. I don't know oh, about you don't have to yet. show up again. <laughs> yeah, definitely, uh, definitely the second week. Maybe the first week. Yeah. But what if I what if I end up retiring? If you end up retiring, then yeah. uh, I guess we're gonna have to have a radioactive some kind of radio show. Because <laughs> I have to take one week off a month, <coughs> at least. Yeah, you could be like, no, I ain't retiring. I ain't retiring. You know, they say only except, the, only the, except for the when good die young. Retire. You ain't no good. You ain't going nowhere. No, I ain't going no, nowhere. You're, you're not young either. <laughs> not old, but I'm not young. Yeah, I'm young. I you, you're a youngin'. If I die, if I die. Hell, you're still with the hundred years. Name, name the station after, uh, after Hilljack. After Hilljack. Well, I, I, only if I die. Well, I, I'll tell you one thing. I, I, like, I told Deb, I said, we got to start a second station. Yeah. Like, so, you know, we, we could do an all-women's station. We can call it WPMS. <laughs> <laughs> Deb, can, Deb can have the, 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 the show. Flagship show. Flagship show there. Yeah. I can't have WPMS. Reasons why, I throw why, shit why at can't my you husband. Have why can't you have WPMS? The reasons I throw shit at my husband. But but you but you still could be you still show the signs of it most days. You do. Cricket, cricket. You do. You show signs of it, Deb. Cricket, most of the time. Sorry, my mouth's full. Cricket, cricket. You That's do what it. She said. No, it's not. Cricket, cricket. You do it, Deb. When did she ever say that? Cricket, cricket, cricket. I don't know, but she does it. Cricket, cricket. <laughs> Oh my God! On that note, aren't you glad you invited us? <laughs> oh yeah. No. Oh doubt. yeah, it's us. So why don't you sound a little more convincing, Earl? I'm, I'm just. <laughs> oh just yeah. Try. Oh yeah. We're just thrilled you're flipping here. <laughs> well, I'm trying to like look at my uh, fantasy football here, and um, I don't know. The door was open. I just walked in. <laughs> True story. I'll, I'll look at it later. I'll look at it later. I got a show to host. But yeah, we can start an all women's network. We can call it WPMS. WPMS Internet Radio. Or PMS Internet Radio. There you go. What do you think, Deb? I don't have to have the W. Don't have the W. Yeah. P 
PMS Internet Radio? What do you think? I think that would work. What do you guys think? PMS Internet Radio? You've already got oxygen on TV. Yeah, why not? So let's just go for PMS Radio. <laughs> You could have all like the you could have shows you know like you know we do let's talk you know and you got you got you the girls can do a let's let's gripe let's <laughs> how, <bitch>. how would <laughs> let's bitch how would say, welcome to let's bitch everybody <laughs> we we could call it a DMN you know like Oprah's got the own yeah could be the, uh, the DMN yeah call it the dam the, 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 the McCune Network the dam oh the dam I like it. Well, actually, it kind of works. We can do the D- Deborah Ann McCune Network. Yeah. <laughs> the damn. The Deborah Ann McCune Network. We're going to be damn. on the damn network tomorrow night. <laughs> what network? The damn network. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I want to know how the silent treatment would work on radio. <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricket. Oh well, yeah, we can play. You know how the silent treatment works on radio? You're fucking looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Show me later. Oh my god! No, the, yeah, no. Here, here, I I got a great idea for. I, I canceled my trade due, by the way, Deb. Yeah. That's okay. I'm giving her all eighty points. Yeah, yeah. giving me eighty points. Good for him. Well, I haven't accepted it yet, so yeah, I have to accept it. I don't know if it's worth accepting yet. It I don't really. <coughs> what? What, what? Hey, Tony, you missed it. What? Deb's gonna start a women's radio network. We're okay. gonna call. It, we're gonna call it the Dam. Okay. The Deborah Ann McCune Network. The Dam. Oh, yeah. Using my name on the air. Okay. I'm sorry. The Super Duper Spider Man Show. <laughs> with your host, Spider Man. Well, we call it the PMS Radio Network. Why have I told you one? about using my legal name on the air? I didn't use your full legal name. Yes, you did. I left out your middle name. It's true. He did. I didn't want people knowing my real name. Oh. I will make you sing. Deb, you literally yeah. can't do that. You can't it's do it. recorded. It's recorded. <laughs> People see this. Yeah. See You're going to fondle it? Ooh. Ooh, damn. Down there, a little, yeah, a little bit lower. I reckon they itch. <laughs> oh, shit. No, but I'll tell you what. The, the, the damn. The damn network. You know, like, we have the, you know, Oprah has her own network, you know. We can call it, Deb can have her own. Call it the yeah. damn. <laughs> Deb's ass. Makes network. I don't know. No sense. Deb's ass makes no sense network. There we go. Yeah. The damn. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? Deb's ass makes noise. Deb's ass makes noise network. There we go. Call it the damn. Call it the damn. Deb's ass makes noise. <laughs> the damn network. Or, or you know, the dam, the dam could just be, you know, a metaphor. It could have be. You, have you noticed here lately that things just seem to be getting worse since Hill Jack left? I know. What the hell? The the dam could be a metaphor. The metaphor. And the logo could be a butt plug. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, a butt plug for the logo. I still like the idea of the PMS network. You know, yeah. and use a tampon string. <laughs> What do you think of that one, Adam? Give the uh, tagline could be no strings attached. Oh! oh! Ring the bell if we had one. Shit. Oh. We, we got to get a bell. We got to get a bell, yeah. We need no. a bell. No, we don't. No, we need something. We don't need a bell. What, what should we get? We need something. You know, got to have something that, you know. Beer. No, you got to have something like, you know, you got to have something like good. Beer. Beer. How about an air horn. An air horn. Nah, we got oh, businesses no. in here. There's a guy by the name of Tony Rizzo on uh, oh, one of the uh, local channels of uh, ESPN Network here. <clears throat> and Tuesday afternoon, or Tuesday morning as I was driving around, he found this obnoxious, uh, it was a uh, soccer horn 
This is the most obnoxious damn horn I have ever heard. How about a fart machine? People are bitching about the damn thing and he won't shut it off. Yeah. I think we got to get a fart machine for in here. Get a fart machine. You know, whenever we have a zoo. We already have one. Oh, that's right, Deb. You. Me? What are you trying to say? I fart a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Your farts smell like rotten eggs farts. (laughs) We're just rehashing old material now, folks. You can turn it off for the night. (laughs) Thanks. Rehashing old stuff. Well, you want to really rehash old stuff. We can just play a rerun. (laughs) Do it. (laughs) No. Good night, everybody. (laughs) Good night, everybody. Whatever. Oh, my God. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. 234-251-10. I'll get you right through to the uh, the program here, some kind of radio show. And uh, got one more clip of uh, Star Trek Voyager uh, to end the night here, and we'll play that in about 12 minutes. And then uh, we'll, we'll end the show you know, midnight, and then uh, next month will be uh, Halloween-themed movies. I don't know what the hell my phone is doing. You know, my phone's silenced when we're on the air. Yeah, well, mine for does. For a reason. Mine does some goofy stuff. It's funny. Mine's older and doesn't. Yeah. Well, it's just it's because I I'm a bad operator of it. That's why. Ah. Yeah. yeah, you know. Ooh, you know, here's an important thing. Since we are doing Star Trek, Jason Kyer shared me this. Thirty-one years ago. Star Trek beamed into your television sets on this day in 1987. Today? Today. September 28th. How about that? Isn't that cool? September 28th, 1987. That long ago. Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Star Trek The Next Generation. That's 31 years. I was thinking it was like 89, but... No, no. 87. 87. Wow. You're old. That was what... Eight, eight, ten seasons? Oh, seven seasons. Seven seasons. Yeah. Yeah, the one thing was with Star Trek, uh, it's funny. I remember when Next Generation was getting ready to premiere. I was. I remember watching, I, I remember that night watching it at home in, in, in my mom's house growing up as a kid. I'm like, this new Star Trek's coming. I can't wait to watch it. We had the, the floor box television, you know, and I sat right there and I watched that thing. We recorded it on my VHS. I rewatched it later. I was, like, I was all happier than pig and shit but yeah we watched it it was great when you look back at a lot of those old episodes and mm-hmm. you look at all the, the tablet computers and mm-hmm. all this stuff that they have and you look at it now it's not really as impressive no <laughs> no i know i know you think it was like oh hey i got one of those a lot of the designers i've seen interviews with like not necessarily johnny ives but I've seen a lot of interviews of people saying that uh, Apple, a lot, mm-hmm. of the, a lot of the developers for Apple and a lot of the developers at Google mm-hmm. got a lot of their designs for a lot of their products because they grew up watching They grew Star up Trek. watching Star Trek, absolutely. And that's, you think about like, you know, the, the, the flip phone, you know, when the flip phone was popular, you know, um, you know, the communicator from the 1960s Star Trek, you know, they flipped open the communicator, you know. Yeah, that so. was the design for the Star Trek. Yep. Yep, and then I had I had the razor. Remember the razor? I used to have one of the razors, wait, razor flip phones, back in the day. God, you remember the one that they had in the uh, um, the first uh, what movie was that? Uh, Matrix. Mm-hmm. We hit the button and the phone expanded. Uh-huh. We hit the button, the phone yep. collapsed back in mm-hmm. again. God, we're really going way back. And it's so funny that for, for forever, phones got smaller and smaller. Now they're getting bigger again, you know. I mean, everyone wants because of the big screens now. Everyone wants the big, biggest screen they can get on their phone. I said, hell, I said, I might as well just start. Easier to watch porn that way. Exactly. <laughs> absolutely. I was like, hell, I said, at this point, I said, I might as well just start walking around with my tablet to my ear. Yeah. <laughs> they're actually, in some of the reviews I've read about some of these new phones, they were talking about the, uh, the ability to use it one handedly and being able to reach with your thumb mm-hmm. to all points. Of the screen, and they're actually talking about having like, yeah. um, oh, what do you call it, morphic, um, anamorphic, or some type of like um, display resolutions because like it's 16 by nine, like my old, this is like a three year old Droid Max, and mm-hmm. it's a 16 by nine. But when you get into like some of the bigger iPhones and some of the bigger uh, mm-hmm. Samsung phones, we're talking like instead of uh, you know, 16 by nine, you're yeah. actually 10 by two, 10 mm-hmm. by four. Well, this is a. Uh... 
this is I got the iPhone X. I don't get the I, I didn't get the XS. I I, I get I just got this a week ago because um, I had this I had the iPhone eight and my home button broke. So yeah. Now so you, solution, get rid of the home button. Yeah, get rid of the home button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. So they, they did, but it only worked for like two more hours after that again. So No, I just, you got a phone that got rid of I got a phone. Yeah, phone yeah. got rid of yeah, the home button. There you go. Now, does that one have the notch? The notch? Um, the notch on the top. That's the biggest thing I've seen in a lot of these reviews. They have that little notch, that little cutout portion that right below where the camera would be. Uh-huh. And a lot of the people are complaining about... The uh, like uh, the Android phones are starting to uh, mimic it, where you can actually have a feature where it turns it on and turns it off. Mm-hmm. And people are like, "You want an option that takes away screen real estate?" Right. You know, I, 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 you know, here's the thing. I use. I mean, this is this is a pretty good sized phone. I mean, then the new ones are even bigger. I was like, I'm glad I don't have the bigger one. I said, this is big enough for me. Well, my friend has a Note. Yeah. And he let me use his Note. Huh? That's a five. Yeah. Yeah, because he has that, and I'm like, and I pick it up, and I'm like, how do you get up there to drag down for your notifications? Because I don't have big hands, but he doesn't mm-hmm. have big hands either. And he's like, well, what I do is when I'm holding it, I just pretty much put it on my leg yeah. and, and just bump it down and right. slide it up. And then when I need to go down, I just pretty much bang it against something and slide it back down. On yes. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're going to need a case for that. <clears throat> yeah, so it's like I said, the, the new phone, like I'm, now I, I, my 8 was bigger, you know, as far as a little bit wider and a little taller, but I got more screen with this. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I mean, to me, I don't. it doesn't feel any different. You know, it doesn't, you know, I was like, hey, you know, as long as it works, I don't care, you know, and, you know, like, and it's already starting to be obsolete because, you know, now they get the, that new XS, you know, which is bigger and all that. But, you know, it, it's funny. You look at these phones now, you know, I can only I, wait 10 more years, 10 more years. What we have now is be like, you get that piece of shit thing, you know, there was a reviewer antiques. antiques. It's like computers, you know, phones and computers. They go out of date the minute they're released. It's like, oh, hey, you know, right. next one's getting ready to come out. Yeah, they had a review. They had a guy had a uh, video from like a, um, a skit from like Mad Television or mm-hmm. from SNL from like back in the 90s. Right. And it was the joke was in this, they actually had this phone and it was basically like, Six inches by like mm-hmm. eight inches, and they held it up to their face, and they were talking to it, you mm-hmm. know, as a as a joke. Right. And they were reviewing the uh, the new note, and they were comparing it to you know other phones like mm-hmm. the like um, the iPhone four. Right. It was like three point two, three point six inch mm-hmm. screen. Right. And now you have like six and a half, almost seven inches on these notes, and he says, you know, that video isn't really too uh, off the off the mark because when you're sitting here i mean this thing is only five and a half and right. it's almost as big as my head <laughs> oh yeah i mean like this thing massive you know i mean it's like it's a good size phone i mean i and like i said the newer ones are longer it's like be down to here before long you know it's like is good Android? Android? no this is an iphone this is an iphone that's an x right iphone x yeah well, you know what's funny is, uh, you know, you don't have a home key on that one, right? Nope. It, they're now selling an attachment for people to plug in the bottom. Because mm-hmm. you don't have a headphone jack for that either on there, do you? It gives you one, but you plug it into the... The bottom. The bottom where your charger goes. Yeah, and then yeah. it'll have a home key on it too, won't it? Uh, no, I don't think so. See, I know they're selling an adapter because there are people that miss their home key. Yeah, I saw that on one of the reviews. I can't, yeah. I can't remember. And it has a headphone jack and a charger in the bottom. But it could have been unboxing therapy or one of one of the reviewers. They actually had a dongle you actually plug into the bottom of the phone and you can uh, get your home key back. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little th- little attachment. And the fun and you know the funny thing is because everybody's either iPhone or Android. You know, I know I don't know anybody that goes back or forth. And it's like an iPhone. <coughs> an iPhone. All their technology is from Samsung. Their screen, the screen technology is from Samsung, and uh, 
It's just like, and I, and I see people walking around with those cordless earphones. Mm. They look like drips of sperm are hanging out of their <laughs> ear. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just, they look, they look so goofy with the cordless headphones, you know, when they're walking around with them. And I always tell people, I'm like, you know, well, you know, your iPhone, your iPhone X finally caught up with the, with the Galaxy Note 7. Mm. You know, everything that Apple's claiming now, Samsung's had out for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. They're catching up. And it's like, did they just release the iPhone X and the 8 for a while? And, uh, yeah. and now they have the XS out. Right, that just came out. It just came out and something like else. Last Friday it came out. And, like, you know, they had released the Galaxy Note 8, and about six months later they released the 9. Mm-hmm. They skipped over the 6 altogether. They, had, they created a 6, mm-hmm. never released it. 7 was a great phone without the, without the battery issue. Right. And then, uh, of course, then they have the 8. Now they've got the 9, which I really like because it's got, like, a double-life battery. Mm-hmm. See, these have an internal battery. I can't swap and put a, put a bigger battery in them. I'm kind of stuck with what I got. Right, so am I. With these, yes. you can't, with the iPhones, you can't get into the battery, you know. And now it's just like, you know, <clears throat> I could use my phone, unplug it in the morning. I'm, you know, I'm halfway dead in the afternoon because I'm on it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And then with all the apps I got running, but now the new phone says, you know, okay, you've got double your battery life now. Instead of like a 3,000 mAh battery, it's like a 7,500 mAh battery now. And the phone's a tad thicker, which I'd give up a little thickness on the phone to get a better battery. Uh-huh. Because, you know, like here, I'm an, with all I, I use it on while I'm here on the air, that's why I keep it plugged in. Right. And I got to keep it plugged in when I drive because... Both of my app, both my apps that I use are constantly measure where I'm at, so I have to. Mm-hmm. So it's constantly uh, draining battery, especially using them. And I play right. my Spotify while I'm driving, so that's another way to kill my battery. And right, I'd like to be able to leave it off and right. not have to charge it all the time. Right, well, I yeah, I, I I get it. I mean, I like I go to work mm-hmm. now. Most of the time, like the only time I ever really ever use my phone, like I'll play. I'll tune into the station when I'm yeah. working, like when I'm in the back, when I'm working at night, because I got like four hours of me and my thoughts and the pen setters, you know? Yeah. Huh? Uh, Except for last night, yeah. It's almost what it is. Is it, It's almost like downtime, except yeah. for when, you, when you've got a issue. Go fix something. Right. Yeah. So and it's kind of like downtime. So you're, you're sitting you're, and waiting on something. You're sitting on waiting for something to happen. Oh. So it's like, okay, I'll throw the station on. I'll listen to the station. And then you guys both, too, is, you know, you, 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 what is the app that, that controls that? How much does it eat? Not what a whole lot. Not a whole lot it only, it only, only when you use it, because it's, it's kind of it's an on-standby app. Okay. So it's only... If we have to get into it, that's when it draw. But it doesn't do, use that much power. I gotcha. It's a low. It's a low power app. Yeah. Because it doesn't stay active all the time. It's just active when you turn it on. So, but we do need to take our final break. Let's do that now, and we'll play our final clip of Star Trek Voyager. All right, you listen to some kind of radio show on SKO. We'll be back. Didn't see you there. Me and my buddy here have been expecting you. My sticky buddy, Sully here with the... Oh, excuse me, I've got some pussy hair on me. Check that shit out. It's a sticky roller designed to clean up any mess. Poodles, pussies, people, you name it. Use it as a back scratcher. You can rinse it off, dry it off, jerk it off. I don't care what you do with it or where the hair even came from. Silks, suede's, swag. (laughs) Ladies, I don't care how smelly or hairy your carpets are. My rubber fingers get in there deep. Just rinse it off for a nice beverage. Wipe it off. Oh, there we are. Do all kinds of shit with it. Aren't you tired of ripping your hair out because you're trying to drive and the kids are making a fucking mess? You'll be making so much money, it pays itself off. Ooh, precious food. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Everybody has an evil cat or an annoying dog. Use it to groom them or even yourself. 
<laughs> la, la, la. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa! <laughs> Normally, a shticky is $20, but a sticky buddy is only $10.99. You'll also get a cover. You gotta use protection. Even if it's a quickie, wrap that sticky. Stop rolling up your money with those old lint rollers. The fuck is wrong with you? Check out the suggestively sized sticky buddy. You're gonna want to stroke it, but not too much. It'll make a mess. Hide it in your purse. 007, leave it somewhere as a pleasant surprise. And like I said before, Four, I have magic rubber fingers that get deep into your hairy cracks. Get some buddies for just ten ninety nine. But wait, there's more. If you have jumbo-sized pubes, we got a jumbo-sized sticky bunny. Who let Spider-Man in the house? The cat's flipping turds everywhere. Who keeps flicking their boogers under the bed? But you know what? The hair that you find is yours to do with as you please. Why not make a toupee or break out the turbo snake? All of these guys will be your buddies with their rubber fingers for just ten ninety nine. Ask about free shipping. Now get out of my house! Isn't that right, Mr. Wuss Wuss? Hi, this is Bob Fritz, host of the Oldies But Goodies Show here on SKO Radio. Join me every Sunday morning from 11 to 2 Eastern Standard Time for the best of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You can get your requests in by going to Facebook page yesterday and today's classic music chat, tribute, and games. You're listening to SKO Radio, but there is no fake news. Fact is, we don't have any news at all. What the hell is it? A trans-warp aperture. It's less than a light year from Earth. How many warp vessels? We can't get a clear reading, but the graviton emissions are off the scale. I want every ship in range to converge on those coordinates now. Yes, sir. After armor is down to six percent. Hull breaches on deck six through twelve. I can't stay ahead of them, Captain. The armor is failing. Where's the nearest aperture? Approximately 30 seconds ahead. But it leads back to the Delta Quadrant. Mr. Paris, prepare to adjust your heading. Yes, ma'am. We've got 18 ships in position. Nine more on the way. Open a channel. Open, sir. This is Admiral Paris. Use all necessary force. I repeat, all necessary force. Sir, there's a vessel coming through. Mr. Paris, what's our position? Right where we expect it to be. The transwarp network has been obliterated, Captain. We'll celebrate later. Mr. Tuvok. Cease fire. Being hailed. Unscreen. Sorry to surprise you. Next time we'll call ahead. Welcome back. It's good to be here. How did you? It'll all be in my report, sir. I look forward to it. Thanks for your help, Admiral Janeway. Sick bay to the bridge. Doctor to Lieutenant Paris. There's someone here who'd like to say hello. You better get down there, Tom. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Ducote. The helm. I 
right, Captain. Set a course. For home. You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234 234- Two zero zero five one one zero. Again, that's two three four two zero zero five one one zero. Now here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. I don't think that's in the lottery, though. All right, we're back here on some kind of radio show. Final uh, yeah. twenty-two minutes. Yeah. 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 Oh my. <laughs> oh, Give me a yeah, Tony. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby, yeah! Yeah, baby, yeah! You better drop one of those tomorrow night. Oh, (laughs) should I? Yeah. Especially if I start stringing them? Yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. Start stringing them, brother. I wonder what pair I'm on tomorrow. Oh, brother. I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. Time sure flies when you're having fun. It does. When's the fun begin? Is that why why I feel like I've been here for like 13, 14 hours? Yeah. I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. Yeah. At hey, least 15 Hey, Dad, hours. will you clean that office? Thanks, get on it. Right? It's like, I, it's, it's it's like I haven't been home and... Don't run a vacuum cleaner. Either. Oh, yeah. is that, that RDJ one looks pretty... Uh, oh, Robert Downey? Yeah, that one looks pretty pretty spot on. Yeah. No, did, you, did, you hear, did you hear Tony we were talking about during, uh, during the uh, break, what he was telling us? About the MGM now there. owns the Roxino in Cleveland? It's yeah. Canada. Yeah. yeah, the... Uh, MGM now owns the uh, Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park. So the, so lot, the lottery wonder, sold it. So I'm wondering. Yeah, because the lottery ran the I'm gaming. wondering what the, the lottery rewards, ran the gaming and the Hard Rock Cafe ran everything what, else. What, what rewards program do they use? The MGM. I'm curious about that because I'm just curious. Well, you ain't gonna go up there and play slots. I'll do it if this if it's what I think if 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 it's what I think it is. <laughs> you play blackjack. What the Caesars? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They use the yeah. Cause, yeah. See, Cause see, they used to have total reward. See, the Jack when they were the uh-huh. um, when they were horseshoe. horseshoe, they ran total rewards. But now that they're the Jack, they don't. They, they have their own system. Yeah, they have their own. But you know, when I was out in Vegas, I went out to Caesars and they like pretty much kissed my ass because I used to be a total rewards member in Cleveland. So they like up. They matched me. They tier matched me. Yeah. Oh. M Life. Oh, we have M Life. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. One of the ones we got when we were out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have that one. Yeah, we have that M Life. So it's not. It's not. It's not Total Rewards. But that's okay. Yeah. I like Total Rewards because they they pretty much kissed my ass. I loved it. That's like when I go. That, that's like when I go to Mount, when, I, when I go to Mountaineer. I mm-hmm. mean they. Yeah. It's the same well, way. here's the thing. Like, like the the Jack, I'm not gonna bash him on here. I was going there. Deb and I were going there for the longest time. Okay. Well, every six months they reexamine their tier levels. Well, here's the thing. I was a C. She was a C because they have J C J A C K and Infinity. Infinity is like you have to get invited to be Infinity. Okay. Well, C is pretty much C and above are pretty much you can get into the uh, exclusive club upstairs and all that and half price drinks and all that shit. Well, I retained my C card. Deb lost hers, and she was and she was maybe what? How many points away? A thousand points away on their system, uh, and she had to maintain. So they said, "Nope, you lose yours." Well, I'm going to lose mine in January because I haven't been. I've been up there one time. Because I'm, I, I haven't been playing and I haven't been going up, but I just, that kind of actually rubbed me the wrong way because considering how much money me and her put in going up there, you know, it's like, and they just, and they, and it's, it's kind of stupid, you know. But not bashing them, it's just, we, it's just a personal thing, you know. Views and opinion, that's mine, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll probably still go up there and every once in a while, but I'm not going to go like I was going, you know. But. Uh, Wish we had an alternative, close, 
close. You know, don't be wrong. I don't mind going to Mountaineer. I don't mind going other places. Presque Isle. Presque Isle. Yeah, but we have to. But we'd have to go. We'd have to use the shit out of that too by January, huh? Yeah, but then we're gonna have two days to go. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to Indiana next month. Yeah. So. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I want to I want to go. I'd go, like to go out there. Go play cards. Yeah. We're gonna, gonna go play cards. Yeah, I'd like to go play cards. We're gonna go play cards in Indiana. Maybe. Yeah, I could do it. We're gonna go play cards. Right now? Uh, not right now. I don't have to work tomorrow. I do. Wait, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. Wait, yeah, I do. Yeah. I know. Toledo. We go to Toledo. Yeah. Toledo. 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 Yeah. Toledo. Toledo's not that far. Far enough. Yeah, I ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. I go to Toledo. I'd like to just go see it because I've never been there. Yeah. I wouldn't mind checking out. Where your bulletproof vest, though? Yeah. No. All right, Deb, you're going to have to stand in front of me. <coughs> well, it'll bounce right off your boobs. <laughs> They're big enough. <laughs> anyway, this is how the, the show has uh, kind of gone down tonight. You know. The word I'm thinking of is... Sex? No, that's multiple words. Sex? No. Sex. No, I'm not thinking of that. Now he is. <laughs> now he is. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Press to digitation. Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. That, that what you're going to call it? Yeah. Anyway. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. All right, go ahead and ask. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Me. <laughs> it's a good question though you that was a good answer no no well you know what my true name is what S- Steph and Chris figured it out earlier oh yeah when you're calling yourself Jesus yes he's calling himself Jesus earlier Jesus. Dylan thinks he's Jesus Jesus now. Dylan thinks he's Jesus I don't think you think you're like the second coming of Christ no I think I'm like the second coming of my farts. Wow. That's deep, dude. <laughs> There's no lifeguard on duty. There's no lifeguard on duty. Oh, so shit. Your own risk. I think his inner, <laughs> his inner child farted. His in, did your inner child fart? Dylan, are you pregnant? I'm going to decline to comment at this time, uh, <laughs> pending investigation. Dylan's got, Dylan's got to get a rectal exam to find yeah, out. Ask me in about two hours, and I'll let you know if this bulge goes away. Yeah. Yeah. He, he has an asshole baby. Yeah. Yep. I think alien fetus would be a good band. Alien fetus. You got an alien fetus in there? You're going to deliver it in the bathroom? That's what Tony did a little bit ago. I did that earlier. <laughs> Is that what those noises were? That's what those noises were. That's what the rumblings were. Yeah. That earthquake. Yeah. Sounded, it was a damned earthquake. It sounded like oh. a kraken. <laughs> Release been, the kraken. That could have been Deb's farts. Could have been anything. So, Adam, what's going on with you tonight? Not much. I uh, just spent a uh, little time at a place I think Hilljack frequents called Walmart. Oh, 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 yeah, there you go. Yeah, he. Uh, I'm sure he frequents that place. He fits right in. You know, he walks in. They don't even look at him funny there. Nope. So a couple of people I thought was him, but I figured I better not uh, initiate contact because then I wouldn't be able to get away. Yeah, that's true. Don't initiate first contact in this case. <laughs> this is not a first contact. contact. <laughs> this is not a first contact scenario there. <laughs> I had no intention to go to Walmart, but... Uh... Found out that we ran out of printer paper, and I really need to print some shit off. So. Uh, uh, yeah, printer paper is important, and Walmart's usually like the, the, the. Now, see, there's a couple Walmart's in the area, okay, for right my general area right now that I I can actually go to. I'm kind of in the middle of Walmart and Stowe, and then there's the Walmart in um, Brimfield. Brimfield. Brimtucky. Brimtucky. I, I prefer the Brimfield Walmart. 
I do too. I love the Brimfield Walmart. Brimfield, the Brimfield it's a nicer Walmart. Walmart. It's, bigger, it's bigger, bigger and it's nicer. Especially like two in the morning. It's like you get like the uh, uh, Kent State students that may have not been drinking. That yeah. Are riding around the carts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, here, here's the thing. Now, <laughs> let me give you my Walmart story. This is that we, Deb and I were going to tell this Walmart story. We had to go to Walmart. So we ended up going to the one in Stowe. Um, last week, right? Was it last weekend? When we were trying to check out and you couldn't because there was no one to check out? Yeah. Yeah, come, come on, Dove. Come on, get on the story with me. Yeah. You were with me. You might as well help tell it. Fine, I guess I'll tell it. So we're, we had to go. We had to get dog food. We had to get dog food and then we had to get... Uh, what else did we get, Dev? Your aunt's. My aunt's stuff. So... But the main thing we went for was dog food. We needed dog food. Not dog food, baby food. Okay, whatever, baby food. Dog food, whatever. Anyway, so we get the dog food. And we are we get, we got in the cart and a few other items. We go up front, and they got one checkout light on. It was aisle checkout number seven. We go, and it's like, there is no cashier. Wait, 15 minutes. There was no cashier at all. But, Deb, I went out to the car at this point because I was irritated. So you have to tell the rest of the story. No, you were standing right next to me. I went to the car. No, no. you didn't. Tell the rest of the freaking story because how, how did you get them to check you out? Go ahead. You had to go to the self-checkout. Yeah. Well, you had to go to the self-checkout. All right, and what happened at the self-checkout? Deb, you're, you're killing my story. You said you wanted to tell this story, and now you're like... I didn't. See? Great story, Deb. But I don't know. She, so she basically, there was like all the customer service people, they're all standing around and just shooting the shit. Like all three of them or four of them or whatever. So Deb goes, screw it, I'm going to self-checkout. You know what I would have done? Yeah. I would have went and put everything back or just shoved the cart over somewhere and left. Yeah. Those stinking self-checkouts to me are the I biggest hate. pieces of but crap that's where they could have ever put in there. Yeah, and that's where they were all congregated. They took four of them to work four checkout. You know, they had to like they were monitoring those. Yeah. It's like really, you mean you can't actually? Have, and they had one checkout that was supposed to be open, no one manning it. And like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I hate that shit. It was like what one thirty in the morning. We went out to the one in Wadsworth. There, I think it was a giant eagle out there. Yeah. And at nine o'clock, they shut all those all the checkout. But check out things down. Mm-hmm. And uh, all it is is a self serve crap. Yeah. And my wife, bless her soul, will take and go through those things, but I absolutely refuse. I yeah. If you can't have a if you can't have a customer service representative there when I go to checkout, mm-hmm. then you don't want my business and I'll yeah. turn around and walk out. Right. What the hell with that noise. I hate them things. I mean it's I I very the only time I will ever use them if I like if I go and they get, if they're loaded with people and I got one item, because you know what, these people are going to let you through for one item. You know, they want to get their 50, 60 items out there, you know, whatever. Unless you're us, we let people through. Why well, would, well, well, yeah, but I'm just saying. I mean, we're, we're courteous folks, but you get these people and they just like, you know, like, like they just uh, do what they do. But, uh, I don't know. I hate them damn things. What do you prefer, Adam? You, you, you like I'm the polar opposite. I love the self checkouts. Yeah. I'm not a fan. I've never had a problem with it. Yeah. There's usually somebody there, at least in my Walmart, to mm-hmm. help out if one of the machines just has to screw up or something. Yeah. I'm just. But I, I yeah. hate going to the uh, checkouts at the one here because it seems like the people running those uh, checkouts uh, barely graduated high school. I think that's typical. They don't know how to bag shit to save their lives. Right. Yeah, they they, they they hire just pretty much any lazy fuck that wants to work. And then, you know, yeah. I mean, their turnover rates is probably one of the highest turnover rates anywhere. I always, I always crack up when you go into those stores, depending on the time of the day, and they got their shifts coming in, and they got their rah-rah speeches. And I'm like, if I got paid to do oh, that, yeah. I would absolutely say, fuck you, I ain't doing this shit. Okay, team, we're going to have a good day today. Come on, let's cheer. Come on, go team, go Walmart, yeah. Um, okay, fuck You know that. where they got that from? <laughs> that all come, come from the Orient. Mm-hmm. He, the Chinese people over there, are uh, they have stuff like that in anything they do. Mm-hmm. When they do changeovers in manufacturing, yeah. 
uh, they have a team waiting to go run into the run in and take over the oh Jesus I can't even say what that was <laughs> they have a, they have a team the next shift comes in <laughs> they line up at a gate <laughs> and Somebody's choking on it <laughs> they line up at it's a not gate big enough and to they, choke on they have to take and uh, they line them all up when the whistle <laughs> blows the next the next team runs in takes over the job uh -huh. and the, the people that were there before them leave mm -hmm. and you know it's a whole different oh god orientation than we got here oh i know it's like we i i uh you know i i i have to actually sit there and you just all you can do is kind of laugh at it it's like god i'd go out of my mind if we ever did that hey you know what maybe i should suggest that when we go to work tomorrow i'm gonna say hey don't i think we should have a rah-rah speech every day and self-checkouts <laughs> Have you ever I can give you one of those speeches every day if that's what you're looking for. You want a rah rah speech? I will give you one of I those need, speeches. I, you know what, Dylan? I think I might need. Well, you know what? I think I think before we do every radio show here, we should have a rah rah speech. All right. You should put it on Facebook so we can all see it. Oh yeah, right. just we'll for Facebook fun. Live it. Yeah. We'll Facebook Live it. Right. We'll do, of course, as a parody. You know, we won't really do it. You know, because oh, I will. Well, I mean, we'll do it, but I'm just saying, I just don't want to like. Hey, You've guys. never worked retail, have you? I uh, know. Yeah. No. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, I can tell because people who work retail, their morale is so destroyed mm -hmm. that that's why they have those speeches. That's why they have those. That's why they have those morning meetings. That's why they have those morning meetings mm -hmm. and all that because their their spirit is so destroyed because their company just went bankrupt and you don't know if you're going to be out of a job. Mm -hmm. Been there, done that, lost my job. Thankfully, I lost my job because I was going back to close the store. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I willingly lost my job after, you know, mm -hmm. it was a temporary job. We'll go right. with that. So, Exciting but, stuff. You know, my, my better half, not so much. Right. But then she worked for the corporation. That we did. And quit. <clears throat> Isn't she the lucky one? Yeah, I did too. Yeah. 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 Isn't, yeah. Aren't you guys the lucky ones? Yeah, we're the lucky ones. Not me. No. You got a new job. I got a new job, but I had to pay the corporation. You had to, you had to hump I, their legs. No, no, no. They want you to. Uh, they, yeah, they can bite me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done for the night. On that, that Are you, you done for the night? I'm done for the night. Thank you. Yep. Good night. Good night. We got six minutes to Tony's go. Tony's done for the night. Yep. Good night. Uh, Earl. Earl. What? You take over for the next... Five minutes and uh, 51 seconds. You know what? I'll take over 551 and then you guys clean up. Yeah. I already did. She already did. Is all clean? Is the table wiped down? Do oh, we, we Is that table time. put away? Is that. Get up off your ass and do it. Well, wow. he's got a radio show to do. I got a radio show to finish. Plus, there's still scores TV going That's, on. Yeah. yeah. Was I here last week? Yeah. 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 I don't remember. What the hell was that back hour and a half of the show? Mm -hmm. I remember. Anybody hear that background noise? That's that's Adam's phone. Left for a good reason. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, Adam. Adam. Adam's got a lot of background noise. It's all right. He's on the phone. He's on the he's phone. Driving. No, he's driving. Yeah. Oh, you're driving. He's Get over driving. Yourselves. He's driving. Ah, that's pretty cool. By the way, Adam. Adam, hello. Yeah. I uh, I'm the uh, web designer for the. The station got a comment about yep. your your uh, video abilities are amazing i will give you that thank you the, uh, i'm currently working on last week's right now it's a little behind because i had some shit to do today with uh trying to get the house up on the market but uh, oh no worries 48 hours that will be done I drive around a lot during the afternoons and listen to this. Listen to the station. Here's a I'm a, a, I, I mean, I'm able to see it on my phone and some of your some of the stuff you do with videos is just super amazing. Thank you. Here, here's some news we can talk about for the last four minutes. Oh, Tyrod yeah. Taylor yeah. is not even the backup this week. Oh, he's not. Drew Stanton is the backup quarterback wow. this week. Is he still on concussion protocol? I don't know. Must be. He must be. <coughs> must be. <coughs> because, uh, as, in his, as in his QBR is abysmal. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It's and not in the negative, but it's low. Low. Very low. It's low. It's Baker time. Yeah. And, you know, the week one of the uh, sports brewing company, Rick predicted, you know, it was Baker time. And yep. damn if he wasn't right. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, and uh, Baker came and he delivered. And I, uh, I trust him enough to, I'm actually uh, sitting Aaron Rodgers and playing Baker Mayfield against Earl mm-hmm. this week. Do you oh. know that, I don't know if anybody else saw this, but when he came onto the field that minute, Minute in or it minute picked before up. the half, it picked up. That whole complexion of that game changed. It picked that up. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, the tempo. Everything. They they looked like yeah. they cared. The tempo. Well, everyone wanted to play with. You know, it's like right. It's uh, like everyone gave a shit all of a sudden. The the worst thing that happened though, it, it seems like the locker rooms kind of divided now. Half of them want Tyrod, half of them want Baker. Uh huh. You know, and you're gonna have to play with what. What John Dorsey and Hugh Jackson say. Right. Here's what you're going to have to do. So. Right. So. What do you guys think that's the uh, wins loss is going to going to be? I'm still I'm still sticking with the five for the season. I think we're going to have a lot of close ones. I think we're going to have some special teams worries me still. Nine six and one. Yeah. I'm wild card. Nine six and one wild card. You think? Nah, I don't think it's gonna be that high. Yeah, I'm thinking Wild card. Nine, six, and one. There's gonna be at least seven wins. We'll find out and yeah, nine, six, we'll and find one out in a couple for, months. For a wild card berth. So I think we're gonna have some. I think we're gonna have some close ones. We should won, but we we got to see how this week goes. But we had two games that if Baker Mayfield was playing, we would have won. Mm-hmm. I think so too. That's the absolute I truth. Understand. Yeah. That's not. That's not question. That's fact. Yeah, we would have won if Baker was starting. We would be three and zero right now. Probably, you know, and and you know, forget I mean, they're forget, trying, they're trying forget to about you know Zane Gonzalez or whatever for a minute because outside of that, it, it shouldn't have been that close. Right. You gotta wonder what happened to uh, Roth, Roth, Worthless Burger. I mean Rothless Burger uh, during a Pittsburgh game. He's uh, old. I know he's old. He's old and he's shaken. Oh man, that's but. Weird. You know, you got to wonder what's going to happen with the next game. Are we going to actually be able to beat them? We'll talk about it. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we, we killed that last six minutes for pretty good, so. Yeah, nice yeah. job. Football. Nice job. Anyway, we're going to sign off for the night. I want to thank our, uh, our guests tonight, uh, Pat and Dale from Radioactive. A for pleasure being sitting in. A pleasure having you guys sitting in with us tonight. Uh, thank our crazy crew of uh, the Debster from the Dumpster. <laughs> Plug your show for tomorrow, Pat. Radioactive, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's hopefully. right. No, oh, we mean hopefully. Don't even. Yeah, hope, hopefully. You can come down alone then tomorrow it's and not fix sp- it. It's yeah. not supposed to uh, storm tonight, so we yeah. should be on the air in the morning. Yeah. Uh, radioactive tomorrow, little bit. I do want to thank Deb from the Dumpster. Dylan with the dildo. Dylan with the dildo. <laughs> Tony the Comedy Killer, Airwolf Adam, everyone's got a nickname, except, and I mean, except me. Yeah, you are, you're Peckerhead. Peckerhead? And uh, Squirrel. And Squirrel. No, he's Thumb. Thumb! No, he's got hair. I got hair. All right. All right, we're going to sign off for the night. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We're going to be out of here, and uh, we'll see everyone next Friday night. See you all in the morning. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.